Oh, let's see. Do I want some Doritos? Yeah, I'll take some Doritos. Well, huh. how about some candy? Would I rather have Hershey's or Reese's? Let me think. I think Reese's are the best candy, so I'm going to have some of that, too. And oh, my goodness. Pizza is my favorite food ever. Okay, let me get that. All right, well, here. Let me grab this energy drink, and let's see. What else do they have? They have some water, and then they have some milk. And I don't even need milk because I don't even drink it. And I don't even have a baby to feed it to. Well, I'm pretty sure this is all I need. So I'm going to walk into the front desk, and hey there, little Timmy. Can I purchase all this stuff, please? Oh, yeah, sir. Bro, you can purchase all this stuff. Just put it on the conveyor belt. All right, thanks a lot. So, how has your day been? Uh, my day has been super good. How's your day been? My day has been amazing. I love working at this job. Well, it seems like our total is going to come out to twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Uh, all right. And before you purchase all your items, could I interest you in a wizard lottery ticket? A wizard lottery ticket? Oh, uh, what is that? Well, it's basically like a lottery ticket, but instead of winning money, you win a wizard. And if you win the wizard, then he literally like shows up, and you have one wish to give him. And he literally like grants that wish. It's so cool. Right? Yeah, that's very interesting. Interesting, little Timmy. Well, how much is that ticket? Well, I think it's just an extra, like, $2. Extra $2? Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do, little Timmy. I'll purchase it. Alrighty, bro. Well, it seems like all your groceries are good. So you can grab this bag and you can head on out of here. Bye-bye, Speakle Man. Alright, peace out, little Timmy. And guys, I really wonder where that ticket is. And you know what? I think I'm actually gonna scratch it off right now. Oh, huh, so let me see. Where's this ticket? And oh, okay, look. Here it is. Well, I'm gonna scratch it off now and let's see. Hopefully I win, hopefully I win, and... Hello there. You have won. Whoa, uh, wait a second. That card was actually real? Yes, it was real. You just won the wizard lottery. No way. I cannot believe that. I just won the wizard lottery. Well, now that you have won the lottery, what is going to be your wish? Huh, here. Give me one second to think. Guys, this is the most insane moment of my life ever. I cannot believe that there's a wizard right there that can grant any of my wishes. So, huh, I gotta think carefully. And what wish should I do, huh? Let me think and wait a second. I have the best idea ever. Hey, Mr. Wizard, I want to be a dad. <laughs> I'm just joking. I want to be super duper rich. All right, your wish is my command. And, um, Mr. Wizard, where do you just go? I'm not feeling any richer. Wait a second. Are you kidding me? Did I just get scammed? Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that that just happened. I literally knew that thing was fake. Well, you know what? It was only $2, so I'm just gonna head back home now. And I guess I'll just chillax. Oh, I cannot believe that I just got scammed. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna put these groceries away real fast. And now that the groceries are away, I can just sit on the couch and chillax. Eh, uh, Daddy. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who is that? What the heck? Daddy, I need Milky. Uh, uh, hey there, little speaker man. Wait, what? Am I a dad? Uh, daddy, I want Milky. Okay, okay, little kid. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I just got turned into a dad. I thought he was going to turn me super duper rich, but he literally took my joke as a real answer. Well, uh, baby, I'll give you some milk, okay? Yeah, daddy, I want Milky. All right, well, here, let me check the first to see if I have any in, huh? I have some milk right here, but wait a second. It is literally spoiled, kid. <laughs> I don't want that milk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, kid. Oh, I can go back to the store and buy some. Yeah, daddy. Go to the store and buy some. I'm so hungry. Okay, son. Okay. Well, here. Come with me. All right, daddy. We're going to go on a nice walk. Oh, God. This is so bad. I literally got turned into a dad. And I need to find this wizard ASAP so he can turn me back to a normal person. And I also have to go find Timmy so hopefully he knows where the wizard is. Uh, daddy, what are you saying? Oh, uh, nothing, son. Well, here, look. We're already at the grocery store, so let's just go inside and get you some milk. All right, daddy. Let's get some milky. And, uh, hey, Timmy, wait a second. Uh, Miss Lady, where is Timmy? Oh, Timmy's shift is over for the day. What? Are you serious? His shift is over? Oh, my gosh. Well, by chance, you have any more wizard tickets? Uh, what are wizard tickets? We don't sell those here. Wait, what? You don't? That is super duper weird. Little Timmy literally sold me this wizard ticket right here. Yeah, well, we don't sell those. I'm so sorry. Oh, man, this is bad. Well, I'm here to give my son some milk, so son, follow me. And after I gave you some milk, son, I'm gonna head over to little Timmy's house, and hopefully he can help me. Well, here Here's some milk, and I can just purchase this for you real fast. Oh, wait, Daddy, I want milky. Yeah, I know you want milky. Well, lady, this is all we're getting, a bottle of milk. All right, well, that would be $3. All right, Miss Lady, here you go. Thank you so much. Thank you, and good luck on finding that wizard ticket. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. Wait a second. By chance, do you happen to know where Timmy lives? Oh, little Timmy, he lives on Brookhaven Avenue. Brookhaven Avenue? Uh, all right, thanks a lot. Daddy, can we leave now? I am my milky. Oh, uh, yeah, so we can leave now. Well, Daddy, where are we going to go now? Oh, uh, we're going to go to little Timmy's house. Little Timmy, who with old Timmy. Oh, he's just a worker at the grocery store, and I really need to find him fast. So let's go, son. Ah, uh, okay. And so we're at little Timmy's house, and I need you to stay out here. What, Daddy? Why do I just stay out here? Well, because we're gonna be talking about some grown-up stuff in there, alright? Oh, Daddy, alright. Well, let me go inside and see if little Timmy's even home. And hello, little Timmy, are you home? Oh, hey there, little Timmy. Hey there, Bo. Why are you inside my house? Well, little Timmy, I have to have a talk with you. Here, sit down. Oh, uh, okay. We can have a talk. Well, uh, what do you want to talk about, Speaker Man? You can tell me anything. Well, little Little 
Timmy. You know about the wizard ticket, right? Uh, yeah, bro. The wizard ticket I sold you? Yeah, that one. Well, little Timmy, I scratched off the card and I won the wizard. But then something super duper bad happened. What, bro? What happened? Well, I was joking with the wizard and I said I wanted a son. And then I took it seriously and now I have a son. Wait a second, bro. So you became a dad? Yes, bro. I'm literally a dad right now. Oh my gosh, Spiegel, man. That is so bad. Well, uh, what are you gonna do with your son? Well, little Timmy, that's why I came here. There are no more wizard tickets at the store, so I was wondering if you had any. Oh, bro. I don't think I have any more wizard tickets. And to be honest, we don't even sell them at the grocery store. I just, like, found it on the ground outside. What? Are you kidding me, you little Timmy? No, I'm not kidding you, Spiegel, man. I just needed some extra money because that job is not paying well at all. So I don't really know how I can get you another one, dude. Oh, my gosh. This sucks so much. Yeah, dude, I know. Well, you might just have to be a dad forever. Be a dad forever? Are you kidding me? My son's already so rambunctious. He was begging me for milk and stuff. Oh, boy. Well, hopefully he doesn't do any bad stuff. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't. Well, thanks a lot, little Timmy. Yeah, no problem. Dude, I don't know where you're gonna find this wizard. Maybe there would just like be a card on the ground and then you could just like scratch it off and you could just like win. Yeah, if only it was that easy. Well, thanks a lot, little Timmy. All right, bro. See ya. Yeah, peace out. And uh, son, hello. Wait a second, guys. I literally just lost my son. Hey, son. This is so bad. Wait a second. Actually, this isn't bad. Because if my son is gone, that means I'm no longer a dad. Yes, sir. Well, it doesn't seem like I have to find that wizard ticket anymore. Hey, get back here. Daddy, I got the money. Wait, what the heck? Speaker son, oh my gosh. Why is there a police car chasing you? Because I robbed the bank, daddy. I have all the money now. And I am running away on my scooter. Hey, get back here. You can't rob the bank, little kid. Hey, you can't get me out. Now give me that money. Hey, that was my money. Whoa, 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 son. Why did he see all that money from the bank? Because it looks fun, daddy. I was bored standing outside of little Timmy's house. Oh my gosh, son. Never rob a bank. And Mr. Policeman, I'm super duper sorry for my son's actions. It's okay. I'm not gonna arrest him, but make sure to put him in timeout or something when he gets home. Oh, all right. I will. Speaker, son, you're not supposed to do that, dude. You literally almost just got arrested. Yeah, I know, daddy, but I'm not sorry. That was really fun. Oh, and that happened, right? As I thought you were finally gone, but it still seems like I'm a dad. What, daddy? You don't want to be a dad? Oh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. No, son. I love being your dad. Oh, okay, daddy. That's my thought. Well, uh, can we go home? Yeah, let's go home. When the police officer says I have to put you in timeout, so you're gonna be in timeout. Well, I'm gonna be in timeout. Time out. No, I don't want to be a timeout. Yep, I'm sorry, son. You have to go in timeout. We're finally back home, and you have to go in a timeout, son. And once my son is in timeout, that will literally give me enough time to find the wizard tickets, and he'll finally be gone. Hey, Daddy, uh, why are you talking to yourself? Uh, son, where even are you? I went upstairs. I'm going to timeout because you make me go to timeout. Yeah, uh, son, you're gonna have to sit on the toilet for about 15 minutes, all right? Sit on the toilet? Uh, okay, Daddy, whatever. I need to go take a poopy anyways, but I'm not even potty trained. Oh, uh, it's all right. Just don't be on the floor, son. All right, I won't, but I also try not to fall in the toilet. Oh, all right, son. Well, I'll bring back. Stay in the timeout, all right? All right, daddy. Hey, guys, now it is time for me to find the wizard ticket so I can get rid of my son. Because being the dad is so hard and this kid is so annoying. Well, I don't know where to find the wizard ticket because all little Timmy told me is that I could find one on the ground. Well, the chances of me finding one on the ground is like one in a million. So I guess I'll just go talk to some people on the street and hopefully they know where a ticket would be. Oh, so let's see. Where are all the people? Wait a second. There's a super rich guy right here. Uh, hey there, mister. I've got a question for you. Oh, hello there, mate. What would be your question, mate? Well, I was wondering if you have any wizard tickets. Wizard tickets? Uh, I've never heard of any of those in my life. I'm sorry, dude. Bro, are you kidding me? All right. But you could maybe go check all of the stores and maybe they might have one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, that store over there does not have any at all. So how about you go ahead and check Brook Diner? Brook Diner? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Well, thanks a lot, Mr. Rich Guy. Yep, no problem, mate. Well, I'm gonna head over here right now and hopefully I can find a wizard ticket. So I'm just gonna go inside real fast and, uh, hey, Hey there, Mr. Taco Mascot Guy. Hello there, I am not Taco Mascot. Oh. I am Sergeant Taco. Now, what would you like to eat from the Brook Diner? Oh, uh, hey there, Sergeant Taco. I'm not really hungry right now, but I was wondering if you happen to have a wizard ticket here. The wizard ticket? Oh, huh, I actually think I've heard of the wizard ticket before. No, wait, wait, have you actually? Yeah, I'm actually pretty sure that we sold them in our new takeout boxes. For $10.99, you can get a takeout box. No way, really? Okay, okay. Well, I'll purchase five takeout boxes, please. All right, sir, that will be $50. $50, all right, mister. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that. You guys have wizard tickets in here. I'm gonna finally become a normal person again, and I'm gonna get rid of my son. All right, sir. Have a good day. All right, thanks a lot, mister. Well, here, guys, let me open this box real fast, and let's see. Wait a second. Where is the wizard ticket? Hold up, guys. Did Sergeant Taco just scam me? Hey, Sergeant Taco, did you just scam me? Sorry, the store's closed. Hey, let me in. Well, now it's time to clean up. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe that it just scammed me, guys. This sucks so much. I'm never gonna get rid of my son. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna go back home. Guys, this sucks so much. Wait a 
second. Just for good luck, I'm just gonna check in this trash real fast. And hopefully I can find the wizard ticket, so let me see it. Wait a second, guys. I just found a wizard ticket. No way. Well, okay, I only have one chance to get the wizard, so here, let me scratch it off real fast, and... Oh, hello there. You have won. No way, Mr. Wizard. Yes, I finally won. All right, so what is your wish? Okay, Mr. Wizard, I wish to no longer be a dad. All righty, your wish has been granted. Yes, sir, I cannot believe that that just happened. Well, just to make sure it's real, not fake this time, I'm gonna head back to my house, and let's see if my son is still on the toilet. So let me run upstairs real fast. Come on, come on. You better not be in here. No way. I am not a dad anymore. Let's go. Ah, <sighs> TV man, this video gave me so much fun. Yeah, but I'm getting pretty hungry, speaker man. Yeah, honestly, now that you say that, I'm getting super hungry as well. Well, do you have any food inside your kitchen? Uh, I'm not really sure. Here, let's go see real quick. Well, huh? We have some apples and bananas right here. Do you want that? Uh, no, not really. That doesn't look good to me. Yeah, me neither. Here, let me check the fridge and there's nothing inside. Bro, what? Are you serious? Oh my gosh. I literally got no good food in my house. Yeah, you don't. You should have gone grocery shopping or something. Yeah, I know, dude. Well, wait a second. That just gave me an idea. Uh, what's your idea, Speaker Man? Dude, what if we literally went to a Little Timmy store and then we got some food from there? You know what, Speaker Man? That's a good idea. Let's just go get some food at Little Timmy's store. Yeah, dude. Let's go do it. And TV Man, we made it to Little Timmy's grocery store, so let's go inside and let's see. Oh, hey there, Little Timmy. Oh, hey, yeah, bros. What's going on? We were just playing some video games and we got super duper hungry, so now we need some food. Oh, okay, bros. Take your time. All right. Thanks, Little Timmy. Well, TV Man, what do you want? Oh, uh, well, I obviously don't want apple and banana because I already didn't want that at your house. But look, there are some Doritos, okay? I'll take these Doritos. Oh, yeah. Doritos are the best gaming snacks. Wait a second. There's pizza as well. No way. Oh, my gosh. Okay, well, I think I'm going to get the pizza and the Doritos. Yeah, me too. And Speaker Man, are you going to be paying for this? Oh, uh, wait a second, dude. I thought you were going to be paying for this. Uh, no, I didn't even bring my wallet. Brian, I didn't even bring mine either. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. Well, we got to get this food somehow. Yeah, we really do. I'm starving right now. Well, how are we going to get it? Honestly, I think we just walk out the front door and uh, act like we don't have anything. Dude, are you serious? Oh, my gosh. All right, well, hopefully little Timmy doesn't get mad at us. All right, little Timmy. Well, uh, we didn't find anything that we want, so we're going to walk out of here. Yep, yep. Uh, we haven't found anything. Sorry, little Timmy. Wait a second. Speaker Man, why do you have Doritos in your hand? Oh, uh, uh, these? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. Are you serious? Hey, Timmy Man, and what do you have? Oh, uh, I don't have anything, little Timmy. You can check. Uh, okay, it doesn't seem like you have anything. But Speaker Man, why are you trying to steal? Dude, uh, uh, what's this happening, you know? Uh, you know what? I'm calling the police. You better stay right here. Wait, what? You're calling the police? Oh, my gosh. Why did you have the Doritos out in your hand? Bro, because I was literally hungry. Well, you could have bought them out a little bit later. We didn't even get outside the store yet. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess that's true. I'm sorry. Wee, 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 wee. You guys are under arrest. Wait a second. Who is that? That is not a regular cop. Oh, uh, what the heck? Boys, you are under arrest. Camera, Camera woman. woman. Yep, it is me, and I am a cop. Now, put your hands behind your back, mister. You guys are going to jail. Wait a second. We're actually going to jail? Yep, you shouldn't have so sorry. Wait, what? Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. Well, I can't believe that we just got arrested by Camera Woman. Yeah, me neither, bro. This is crazy. Well, Camera Woman, where are you taking us? I'm taking you to my Camera Woman prison. What? A Camera Woman prison? Yep, and we're almost there. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Hey, dude. I think we should try to escape out of here. Yeah, that's a good idea. We are not going to be in here for long. Well, uh, it seems like we're at the prison now. And you know what? I'm going to make a run for it. Yeah, me too. Hey, no, get back. Here. Uh, oh, wait a second. What the heck? Did you just tase him? Yes, Speaker Man, come over here if you don't want to get tased. Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Camera Woman. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is probably going to be harder than we think. Now, come on. Get up and walk back over there. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will never try to run away ever again, Camera Woman. Yeah, you better not. Now, let's go inside. All right, uh, let's just go inside then. All right, well, Camera Woman, what are we going to do first? Well, first, you got to get your mug shots taken. Are mug shots taken? Oh, my gosh. Hopefully, my mommy doesn't see this. Oh, trusty, your mommy will see it. Bro, are you kidding me? All right, Speaker Man, say cheese. Oh, cheese. There you go. Now, TV Man, it's your turn. Go sit down. All right, TV Man, you're up, dude. Oh, okay. All right, TV Man, say hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Aw, so cute. Your moms are going to love these photos. Yep, they sure will. Well, camera woman, what do we have lined up for today? Well, first, you guys got to go to your jail cell. Uh, all right, well, what are we going to do after that? You guys are going to sit in there and rot. Wait, what? Are you serious? We are going to have lunch or anything? Well, later. 
Sure, you'll have lunch, but you guys gotta sit in there and think about what you did. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, Speaker Man, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, there must be like a secret exit out of here. Maybe like through a ventilation system or something. Huh, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, let's start looking around for that. Let's see. Is there anything at the roof? And no, there's not. And there's nothing under the bed. Oh my gosh. Oh, well, maybe there's something in the toilet. Look here, let me step on it real quick. And oh my gosh. I fell into the toilet. My cheeks are wet now. Oh, Speaker Man, that's literally disgusting. Well, there's literally no way that we could get out of this jail cell. So you know what? I'm just gonna run into the door and hope something happens. Here we Wait, go. what? Oh, bro, are you okay? Oh, well, it doesn't seem like I can break through that door. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it sure seems like it. Well, it doesn't seem like we're gonna get out of this jail cell anytime soon. So we might as well just sit here forever. Dude, come on, TV man. We gotta keep on trying, bro. I really want to escape out of Cameron Woman's prison super duper badly. Well, then, Speaker Man, how about you find a way to get out of here? Because I have no more ideas. All right, dude. Well, you know what she said? She said that we're gonna have lunch today. So maybe when it's lunchtime, we can literally distract her and then escape. All right, yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man, but I guess we just have to sit here. Yeah, we can yell for her. Hey, camera woman, I'm starving up here. Can we have lunch? Oh, you guys are being such babies. You've only been there for like five minutes. Yeah, I know, but I'm super duper hungry. That's literally why we stole. Yeah, we literally stole from the store because we were super duper hungry, but wait a second. Speaker Man, I still have pizza and Doritos. Hey, wait a second. Where'd you get those? Oh, uh, what, 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 what happened? Boys, empty your pockets right now. Uh, all right, well, you kind of stole all my food. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you just caught my food. Yeah, that's what I thought. Never try to smuggle food in here again. Yum, 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 yum. Wait, what? You're eating his Doritos? Oh my gosh. Hey, camera win. when is lunch? Lunch is in one minute. One minute? I don't think I can wait one minute. Oh my gosh, I want to break down the door again. Bro, what the heck? Oh, wait a second. Uh, How did I just open that? Guys, it's time for lunch. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure she just opened it. Well, uh, what do we have for lunch today, camera police officer? It's camera woman police officer to you. Oh, okay. Sorry, camera woman police officer. Well, we have this really yummy grub. Ew, what in the heck is that? Some toast, mashed potatoes, sweet potatoes, and green beans. Oh my gosh, this literally looks so disgusting. It's just Thanksgiving leftovers from a little while ago. Bruh, Thanksgiving was so long ago. Well, they're delicious, so eat them. Oh my gosh, all right. But of course, I'm not going to be eating that. I'm going to eat my Doritos. Oh, well, I guess I'll just eat this. And oh, this is really good. Can I go get seconds? Uh, there should be a little more left. I guess you can. All right, perfect. Thank you so much, Speaker Man. Come on. All right, uh, Camera Woman. I'm going to go with him, too. All right. Boys, don't get into trouble. Yep, we won't. Oh, TV man, dude. Do you think there's a secret exit somewhere back here? Yeah, I think there might be. Let's look around for a vent, huh? Maybe there's something inside of here. Yeah, maybe there's one, huh? There's a whole lot of boxes right here. But there's no boxes on this one. Wait a second. Dude, look right there. There's a vent. Oh my gosh, speaker man, this is perfect. We can finally escape this prison. No way. This is so awesome. Are you ready, bro? Let's get out of here. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, boys, what is taking so long? It shouldn't take that long to get some food. Uh, oh, dude. I think She's on to us. Boys, where are you? Hey, you're not allowed to be back here. This is restricted area. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, sorry. We thought that the leftover food was in here. Uh, right, Speaker Man? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, dude. Well, no prisoners are allowed back here. The leftover food is in the food right here. Oh, uh, silly us. Excuse me, man, dude. We're gonna have to come back to this later because I'm pretty sure this is how we can escape. Yeah, me too. Well, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, let me just grab this extra food again and okay, this is gonna be delicious. Yep, it better be delicious and I'm gonna watch you eat it all. Wait a second. You're gonna watch me eat it all? Uh, well, actually, I'm not that hungry right now. I just want to save this for later. Nope, nope, nope. You gotta eat it all right now. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Well, I'm just gonna eat mine right now. And, ugh, that is so gross. Well, boys, now that you ate so much food, we gotta go outside and burn off some calories. Oh, all right, perfect. I do not want to eat that food much longer. Yeah, me too, Speaker Man. Well, dude, let's go outside and uh, camera woman. What are we gonna be doing out here? You guys are gonna be playing some fun basketball. Some basketball? All right, this is fun. Wow, this is the best thing we've done all day. This is so much fun. Yeah, it really is. Well, here, let me grab the ball real quick and I'm gonna score more hoops than you. All right, yeah, whatever you say. Look at me. I've literally not missed once. Bro, wait, I'm literally missing all mine. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. Dude, this is not fun. Well, guys, I'll leave you to it. Oh my gosh. Okay, camera woman. Now that she's gone, do you think there may be a way to get out of the prison from the courtyard? Uh, I don't really know, Speaker Man. The walls are pretty high. Yeah, they sure are, dude. Now that I think about it. I don't think we have a chance at escaping over here. Well, let's see. Maybe we can look around and maybe there's something that we can grab. Wait a second. Look at this. I just got a wrench. Hold on. You found
found a wrench on the ground? No way. Maybe we could use that to open the vent. And after we open the vent, we can literally escape out of Camera Woman's prison. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that is a great idea. Well, how about we get going right now before Camera Woman sees us? All right, yeah, that's a good idea, dude. So come on, Speaker Man, we have to make a sprint for it. All right, yeah, let's go. Whoa, 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 where are you going, boys? It's time for your shower. Oh my gosh, dude, she literally caught us. Uh, Camera Woman, we were actually running to the shower because we already knew it was time for the shower. Yep, and you guys are so stinky. Get in there. Okay, I'm sorry, Camera Woman. Dude, she literally just caught us again. Oh my gosh. I think we should fake having a shower and then we're gonna have to sneak out of here. But I'm pretty sure she's literally guarding the door. You know what, Speaker Man? We might just have to make a run for it. That is probably our only chance to get out of here. Yeah, it sure is. Well, here, dude. Let me walk out the door real quick and let me check around the corner and oh my gosh, dude. The coast is clear. Okay, Speaker Man, come on. We have to go. All right, yeah, let's go. Oh my gosh. So we have to walk into the kitchen in here. All right, let me try to do this right here. Let me get the screw over here. Come on, come on, please. Dude, come on, open it already. And yes, it's open. Quick, get inside. All right, oh my goodness. We're literally in the ventilation system. Yeah, we sure are. Well, uh, how are we supposed to get out of here? Dude, I have no idea. There are literally so many tiny vents in here. Well, how about we take this vent right here? Let's see if we can get out. All right, yeah, that's a good idea. Well, uh, dude, it literally brought us to the storage room right here. Let's go check around it real quick and see. Maybe there's a way to get out and no, there's nothing back here. Maybe there's someone over here. Let's take a look. Yeah, let's go see and wait a second. Dude, look at this. There's literally an elevator right here, but we don't even have a key card. Yeah, it seems like we're literally locked out of this. Well, let me see. Maybe I could use my wrench to try to hack it. So let me just turn this just like this and oh my gosh. I opened it. Wait, did he really? No way, bro. Quick speaker, man. Let's go up a floor. All right, yeah, let's go up. And whoa, what is up here? It seems like we're in some type of security room. Yeah, it sure seems like that. Wait a second. Camera woman's right there. She's walking towards us. Oh my gosh, this is bad. Oh, boys, are you done your shower yet? Oh, uh, yeah, we're done our shower. Okay, well, where are you guys? I don't see you. Oh my gosh, speaker, man. Okay, let me try to open this door to the outside roof. Come on, dude, open it already. And yes, it's open. Oh my goodness, no way. Hey, what was that noise? Oh no, commencing lockdown. Oh my gosh, TV man. We gotta get out of here fast, but wait a second. She literally locked the gate. Oh no, this is not good. I think I accidentally just set off an alarm or something. Dude, this is not good. Wait a second. She is right behind us. Hey boys, what do you think you're doing? Camera woman, we're uh, getting out of here. Oh, get out of here fast. Come on, come on, open up gate. And oh my gosh, the gate isn't opening up. Hey, I'm coming. Come on, dude. Open it with the wrench. All right, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's not working. Uh, I'm gonna body slam into it. And oh my gosh, it just open. Run. Quick, get out of here. What? No, taser, taser them. Oh my gosh, I'm falling all the tasers. We gotta go back home. Oh no, I gotta get in my car. Uh, good morning, world. Today is gonna be so awesome. But to start out with my day, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some food. Uh, TV man, my stomach hurts super bad. Wait a second. What? Is that my mom? Her stomach hurts super bad? Don't worry, Titan TV woman. You're gonna be okay. Oh my gosh, oh no, this is bad. My mom's stomach hurts so bad. Uh, maybe I should go check in on them. Uh, hey mom, why does your stomach hurt? Uh, I don't know, so, but guys, I think I'm about to throw up. All right, you're going to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, this is bad, mom. Please be okay. Ugh, ew, that stinks so bad. Oh, that's so disgusting. Well, uh, are you okay? No, I think I should go to the hospital. Wait, what? Go to the hospital? All right, we're going to the hospital. Come on. Titan speaker, man, follow us. All right, dad. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. Hopefully mom's gonna be all right. Quick, get in the car. All right, Dad. Hopefully your mom's gonna be all right. I don't know what's wrong with her. We're gonna have to go see her at the hospital. Guys, come on. It's hurting so bad. Come on, Mom. Just hang in there. We're about to be in the hospital any second now. All right, we're here. Now, quick, bring your mom inside. All right, Mom, here. Get inside fast. Hey, doctor, quick. Please help my mom. She feels super duper sick right now. All right, do we know why she's feeling sick? No, we don't know why, but she was, like, throwing up and stuff, and her stomach super hurts. All right, well, let's go get a room. Come on, fast. All right, doctor. I'll be right behind you. Okay, let's go inside of this room, and Mom will lay on that bed ASAP. Oh, Okay, I don't feel good. Don't worry, lady. We're gonna run some tests on you. Oh, no. Hopefully the results are gonna come back good, Mom. So, Titan TV woman, when did this start happening? Uh, I don't know. Probably this morning. All right, all right. Let me take a look. Okay, let me listen to your heart. Okay, your heart sounds fine. Now, let me listen to your stomach. Wait a second. Why is there a heartbeat inside of your stomach? Wait, a heartbeat inside of your stomach, Mom? What? Do I have two hearts? Uh, I don't know. Here, uh, let me do an ultrasound real quick. Okay, so let me take a look and wait a second. What even is that thing? Doc, what do you see down there? It's Seems like it's a baby. Huh, a baby? 
baby. Oh, uh, baby. Yeah, a baby. Uh, it seems like you're pregnant. No, no, no. This could not be right. Yep, I'm serious. You have a baby inside of your stomach. Holy mackerel, Mom. I'm going to be a brother. Yes, that's awesome, Titan Speaker Man, but we don't have anything ready. Wait, we don't have anything ready? Well, uh, Dad can run to the store and get some stuff for you. No, Dad has to stay home with me. You got to go by yourself, honey. What are you serious? Oh, my gosh, Mom. Here's a list of everything I need you to get. Uh, okay, Mom. Let me see. What is on this list? All right, so I have to shop for new clothes for Mom and then shop for baby stuff. And the last one, I need to shop for some groceries. Uh, all right, Mom. I think I can do this. And after I'm dead, I'll bring it back home. And hopefully, I'll have a baby brother by then. Yeah, hopefully you will. Well, your baby's actually going to be born in an hour, so I would probably get on it. Hey, yo, what? One hour? Are you kidding me? Oh, my gosh. Well, I gotta get this list done fast. Yep, you sure do. Oh, my gosh. All right. Well, what's the first thing on this list? Uh, let me see. So, first, I need to shop for some new clothes for mom. So, um, where even is the clothing store? Let me see. Maybe it's right here. It says ice cream. Okay, well, I'm gonna go into the ice cream store, and maybe they sell some clothes here. Oh, uh, let me just go inside real fast, and, uh, hello there, Mr. Worker. Do you sell clothes? Here. Do I sell clothes here? Uh, I don't even know if this is in my ice cream shop. I just broke in here. Ice cream? What even is ice cream? It's the most tastiest thing in the world. What? The most tastiest thing in the world? Well, okay. Can I maybe try some? Yeah. What flavor do you want? Uh, can I have this flavor right here? The rainbow one? Uh, yeah. I can give you the rainbow one. Uh, all right. Thanks. And, uh, by the way, do you know where they sell clothes? Do I know where they sell clothes? Uh, I don't even know. What? Are you kidding me, kid? Can you maybe help me find the clothing store? Because my mom is pregnant right now and she really needs some clothes. Uh, okay. I can help you. Do you need clothes like me? Because I I look so cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Maybe that will work. I don't really know. Well, here. Show me where the clothing store is. All right. Follow me. Uh, okay, kid. Yeah, let's go to the clothing store. Well, we're at the clothing store now. Yeah, I know, kid. Well, we're even as a person. Oh, hello there, guys. Welcome to my clothing store. Uh, hey there, missus. I'm here to shop for some clothes for my mom. Do you have any girl clothes? Oh, yes. Right here. If you look right here, we have all the girl clothes. Oh, look at me. I look fashionable. Oh, yeah, kid. You kind of do look fashionable. Here, uh, let me try some clothes on for my mom because she really needs some. Well, here, let me try to put it on in. Oh my gosh, it doesn't even fit. Well, since they don't fit on you, I could try on the clothes for your mom if you want to. Wait, what? You'll try on the clothes for my mom? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. Alright, so let me know how you like this. What? What even is that? Why would my mom wear those clothes? Well, I don't know. What clothes does she even want? I'm not really sure, dude. Well, Mrs., do you have any other clothes? Oh, uh, yes, yes, yes. If you want some cheaper clothes, because I guess you're poor, you can go over to this section. What? Are you serious? We're not poor. Well, uh, do you think your mom would like this outfit? Uh, honestly, that doesn't look that bad. Yeah, I guess she'll like that outfit. All right, then let's go get it for her. Okay, well, Mrs., how much is the outfit going to cost right here? Oh, that outfit would be $6. $6? Uh, do you have any money? Uh, no, I don't have any money. Do you have any money? I only have ice cream cone. Well, guys, how are you supposed to pay? If you don't have any money, well, uh, I'm actually just going to leave. What, kid? You're running away? Okay, well, see you, lady. Hey, get back here. Catch us if you can. And, kid, I'm pretty sure my mom's going to love that clothes so much. Yeah, me too. It looks so awesome on me. It's going to look so awesome on her. Yeah, it sure will. Well, kid, I have one more thing on my list. So let's see what it is. And it says right here, I have to go grocery shopping for some groceries. All right, kid. And after that, we're going to have to head to the hospital because I think my mom's going to have the baby by then. Okay, let's go get groceries. Yeah, let's go do this, kid. And now we're at the grocery store and kid. While we're here, I think we should shop for some baby stuff as well. All right, let's do it. Yeah, because my mom's going to have a baby soon. What do you think the baby would like to eat? Uh, maybe Doritos. What, Doritos? Are you serious? Okay, well, I'll just get some of these for the baby. Uh, and maybe they have some cards here or something. Let's see. Is there any cards here? And no. Uh, well, my mom. Mom's really gonna need a card for the baby to push her around. Wait a second. I can literally just get my mom a shopping cart for the baby. Yeah, that's a great idea. You can push the baby around in here. Yeah, I sure can. Well, let's go check out. Hello, missus. Can we buy the stuff? Oh, hello. Yes, you may. All right, we're buying Doritos, and we also want the shopping cart. Oh, I'm sorry. You cannot take the shopping cart. The store owns them. Uh, well, my mom's literally about to have a baby in, like, less than one hour now. And she's gonna have to push her out of the baby somehow, so I'm gonna take the shopping cart. Oh, well, if your mom's having a baby, why don't you buy her a stroller? Well, because we literally got no money, and we're just gonna get out of here. Bye. Hey, get back here. Wait a second. What are you doing? You're gonna let us steal, and I'm gonna teach you a lesson, so I'm gonna kidnap you. Wait, what? You're gonna kidnap me? You heard me right. Hey, kid, save me. Wait a second. Where did that kid go with my mom's clothes? Are you serious? He just ran away. <laughs> this is what you get for stealing. But my mom's gonna give birth in a few minutes. I, I gotta get to the hospital. Too bad, kid. You're going into my secret dungeon. What? Your secret dungeon? Oh, my gosh. I won't be able to see my new baby brother ever. <laughs> Be quiet, kid. I don't care about your mom having a baby. Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, missus. What can I do to make it up to you? Just sit here and be quiet and don't move. Oh, my gosh. This is bad. I always got kidnapped and my baby brother's gonna be born any minute now. <laughs> I have to get out of here, but huh, what can I do? Let me think. Oh, uh, maybe I can distract her. Uh, hey, girl. Look over there. There's a rat on the ground. Ew, a rat? Yeah, a rat.
rat. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. Hey, kid, where are you going? I was just joking. I love rats. Oh my gosh. She loves rats. I thought that would have worked. Well, girl, can I just roam around this area a little bit? Yeah, you can, but I'm gonna have my eye on you. Uh, okay, girl. Well, huh? Let me see. Well, there's a tunnel out there, but I don't want to go in there because I'll literally get shooted. Well, huh? Let me go in here. And there's a light right here, but wait a second. What if I turn off the light? Oh my gosh. Okay, here. Let me do that real fast. And wait. There is a secret exit down here. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go down and what is this? Oh my gosh. Gosh. There's literally a security monitor right here. Okay, I'm gonna go on it. what? See the girls right there? She's just dancing. I don't know why she's not following me while well here. I think I can literally access the whole entire town's camera. Oh my gosh. Oh, I gotta figure out where my son is. Wait a second. Is that my dad? He's trying to find me? No way. Titan speaker, man. Where are you? Oh my gosh. My dad is literally looking for me. I'm kidnapped right now. Oh man. Hopefully he can find me. Oh no. Let me go to the grocery store and see if he's in here. Oh my gosh. My dad is literally going to the grocery store. Wait a second. What is the girl doing? She's literally outside of the place. She trapped me in and she's going inside of the grocery store with her gun. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome to the grocery store. Oh, uh, hey there. Have you seen my son anywhere? He was supposed to be here. Uh, no. I'm so sorry. I haven't. Are you sure you haven't seen him? Uh, he looks like a speaker. He's a Titan speaker man. Uh, sorry, sir. No, I haven't seen him. Oh, my gosh. Well, my wife is having a baby and I really need him. So if you see me, uh, just let me know. Okay, sir. Don't worry. I will. And oh, my gosh. That girl just lied to my dad and wait. She's outside of the dungeon, so maybe I can escape now. Okay, here. Let me just hop out and let's see. Where can I even go in? Oh, wait, what? Are you serious? This place is locked. Oh, no, this is so bad. Well, wait a second. I'm literally a tiny speaker, man. What am I saying? I can literally make a speaker noise and my dad can find me. Okay, here, let me do this. <sighs> Wait a second. Titan Speaker Man just made a noise. Speaker Man, I'm coming. Dad, save me. I'm in this dungeon. All right, don't worry, Titan Speaker Man. I'm coming in. All right, I'm inside of this room. Uh, where are you? I'm down here in this small room. All right, well, how do I help you? Dad, turn off the light. Turn off the light. Uh, okay, okay, okay. And yes, Titan Speaker Man. Dad, thank you so much for saving me. Yeah, no problem. Well, we have to get to the hospital fast. Your mom's having a baby. What? She's having it right now. Wait a second. Dad, this is the girl that kidnapped me. Hey, who? Who are you? I'm the grocery store worker, and you're not taking your son out of here. What? Why am I not taking him out of here? Because he stole from my store. Wait a second. You stole from her store? Yeah, Dad. I was trying to shop for the baby and Mom, but I didn't have any money. Look. I had to steal the shopping cart so Mom could put the baby in it, and I got some Doritos for the baby. Oh, Titan Speaker, man. I can't believe that you did that. You could have just asked me for some money. Well, uh, I'm sorry, Miss Lady. My son will never do that ever again. Now, could we please leave? No, you're not going anywhere, and if you do, you're going to get it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, we'll just stay here. Don't worry. Dad, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Titan Speaker Man. Your mom is about to give birth to your brother. Well, uh, let me think. You have your speaker powers, right? Yeah, I do, Dad. All right, well, how about I use my TV powers and you use your speaker powers and we can knock her out? Wait a second. That's a great idea, Dad. Yeah, let's do it. And hey, girl, we have something to tell you. Oh, what is it? You are going down. <sighs> Oh my god! Yes, Dad, we need to feed her now. We gotta go to the hospital fast. Mom's giving birth. Yeah, come on, quick, let's go see your brother. Yeah, let's do this, Dad. Hurry, tight speaker man, hop in the car fast. All right, Dad, yeah, now let's go to the hospital. Quick, get inside. Your mom's giving birth. All right, Dad, I'm going inside fast. Oh my gosh, I wonder what my baby brother looks like. Let's go see. Hello, Mom. Son, here's your new baby brother. Oh, uh, Mom, why does he look like that? Uh, I don't know. He's just special. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hey there, baby brother. Go, 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 go. Oh, look how cute you are, son. Now we just have to put a TV on your head. All right, class. Today, we're going to be doing mathematics. Oh, I love mathematics. And Speaker Man, since you love math so much, do you know the answer to this question? The answer to this question, well, one plus one, huh? I think one plus one equals window. Uh, no, that is very incorrect. Ha oh, you're so dumb. Hey, TV Man, I'm not dumb. You're dumb. You didn't even get the answer correct. The answer is two. What? No, the answer isn't two. Well, actually, the answer is two. What? Are you serious? The answer is two? See, I told you you were incorrect. Ha, oh. ha. Oh, I'm so much better than you at math. Are you serious? What? I'm not even that dumb. Oh, my gosh. Well, hey, teacher, give me another question. All right, what is 9 plus 10? 9 plus 10, uh, let me think. I think the answer to this equation is 21. What? You can't be serious, speaker man. That is the wrong answer. Uh, no, TV man, it is not the wrong answer. Stop making fun of me. You are literally so dumb. The answer is 19, teacher. You are correct once again, TV man. What? Are you kidding me? That is not the correct answer. Well, sadly it is. Don't worry, speaker man, you'll get the hang of it. Oh my gosh, you're so mean. I'm going to cry. All right, go cry, little baby. <laughs> you're such a meanie. Oh my gosh. I hate him so much. I'm just going to go cry in the bathroom. <laughs> I
I'm so upset. Oh, hello there, Titan Speaker Man. Uh, who are you? I'm Skibbity Toilet. Oh, yes, Skibbity Toilet. Well, what are you doing in this toilet? Well, I'm a toilet, so I have to be in the bathroom. What, what brings you in today? Well, honestly, Skibbity Toilet, I'm just super duper sad because TV Man keeps bullying me. What, Titan TV Man keeps bullying you? Yeah, he's such a big bully, and he keeps calling me dumb. Well, why is he calling you dumb? Well, because I literally got the math equation wrong two times in a row. But don't worry, I have a way that can make you not as dumb. Wait, what, do you really? Well, what is it? Well, since Titan TV Man is so smart, I can turn you into Titan TV Man. No way, can you really? Yep, I sure can. All right, well, how? Well, what I need to do is go ahead and sit on this toilet right here. Oh, uh, okay, I'll sit on the toilet. And when I flush the toilet, you should go down with it, and then you'll come back on this Titan TV Man. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Skippy Toilet. All right, here goes nothing. Whoa! Oh, I feel kind of weird, Skippy Toilet. Wait a second, I'm TV Man now. Yep, you sure are. Thanks a lot, Skippy Toilet. Oh my gosh, now I can cause so much havoc and get revenge on him. But let's see, is he still in school? Huh, I'm gonna go to the pool and swim all day. Oh my gosh, he's literally leaving right now. Okay, okay. Well, guys, today I'm literally gonna pretend to be and I'm gonna ruin his whole entire life. It's gonna be so funny. But, uh -huh, what should I do first? Let me think. Huh, maybe I should steal his car first. Oh my gosh, look, he has such a tiny car right here. And I can literally stop inside it. I'm gonna go drive to his house. And I'm gonna prank his whole entire family out. As him. And oh my gosh, this is their house right here. And it's so big. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go up these stairs and I'm gonna sneak inside of the house and hopefully none of his parents are home. And oh man, his dad is right there. Oh man, I'm so tired. My back hurts so bad. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try to sneak in here and oh my gosh, they somehow don't see me. Oh hey, tiny TV man. Oh my gosh, they saw me. Uh hey guys. Yeah, I came home early today because uh the school is out. Oh, school's out, okay. Well, why does your voice sound way high pitched? Yeah, that's kind of Weird. Oh, well, guys, they were having a party at school today, and I, I drank helium. What? How do you drink helium? You're literally a TV. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm sick, Dad. Oh, you're sick? Okay. Well, hopefully you feel better. Well, me and your mom are just gonna relax on this couch. Okay, Mom and Dad, have fun. And, oh, my gosh. Okay, where even is my room? Let's see. Where could his room be? No, this is in his room right here. Well, maybe they have an upstairs area. Uh, hey, Mom and Dad, I'm just gonna head to my room. All right, have a fun time. Yep, I will. And, okay, this is not my room. This is literally the bathroom. Come on, where is this? And what? Are you kidding me? Is this the only room here? Hey, um, guys, where's my room? Where's your room? What do you mean, where's your room? Oh, uh, sorry, Dad. I kind of forgot where it was. Oh, that's really weird. Well, uh, your room's right here. What? My room is right here? Yeah, we're TVs. You literally can sleep anywhere. What? Are you serious right now? I don't want to sleep on the ground, Dad. What? What do you mean? You've been sleeping here for three years. Oh, yeah, I guess I have. Silly me. Oh, my gosh, guys. This is so weird. Why does TV man sleep on the ground outside? That's super duper weird. Well, Dad, honestly, uh, I'm kind of bored of being home right now, so I'm just gonna drive around the neighborhood. All right, have a fun time driving around. Do not crash. Oh, okay, Dad, I won't trust me. Wait a second, that just gave me a good idea. What if I literally crash TV Man's car? I can literally destroy it. That would be hilarious. Okay, well, I'm just gonna drive around for a little bit and then I'm gonna crash it. This is gonna be so funny, but honestly, first, I think I'm gonna go stop at the grocery store and maybe I can prank some people here. All right, so I'm just gonna go inside of the grocery store now. Hey, guys. Oh, TV Man, welcome back. I guess it's your second time you've been here today. Oh, uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, this is my second time not being here today. Oh, no. This is bad. TV man was literally here today. Uh, why do you sound so weird? Oh, uh, for no reason, Miss Lady. Oh, man. Hey, what's up, TV man? I just saw you at the pole. What the heck? Who even is this guy? Uh, hey there. Are you still coming back to my house later tonight? Am I coming back to your house? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Don't worry. All right. See you then. Bye, Miss Grocery Store Worker. Bye there, Jeremiah. And phew, that was a close one. So I guess I have two things to do. I'm going to crash his car. And then after I'm done crashing his car, I guess I'll just go to that guy's house. Well, here. Let me see. Maybe I can steal some stuff. That would be so funny. Okay, well, what is there expensive to steal? Let's see. Wait a second. These water bottles literally cost like $15 a pop. Okay, well, I'm just gonna grab some of this and, uh, I'm just gonna sneak out. Uh, hey, lady. Oh, hey there, TV man. You must be loving that water a lot. Uh, yeah, I love this water. Yeah, it's your second time getting it today. How weird. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, that would be $15. $15? Alright. Oh my gosh, guys, I don't even have any money. Uh, well, girl, wait a second. Look behind you. There's a scary monster. Oh my gosh, a scary monster where? Oh, okay, okay. I gotta run. See ya. Hey, come back. 
stuck here. No, you can't get me. Oh my gosh. I literally just stole from the store and this water bottle was $15. It's so expensive. Well, now I think I'm just gonna go crash this car and after that, I can go to that guy's house and I wonder what's happening there. But, uh huh, where should I even crash this car? Let me think. Wait a second. What if I crash it in the pool? Okay. Well, wait a second. I think TV Man's actually there and eh, whatever. I'm just gonna run it straight into the pool. Yes, sir. Wait, the pool is so much fun. But well, wait a second. What is my car doing inside of here? Oh my gosh. Okay, he's actually here. I gotta run. Wait, is this even my car? Wait a second. It has the same license plate as my car. How did my car fall into the water? Oh my gosh. He just knows that car's in the water. What do I gotta do? Wait a second. Is that my twin brother? What? He's looking at me. Uh, hey there. Brother, no way. Is that actually you? I didn't know I have a twin brother. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're brothers. Well, this is so amazing. Do you live in this neighborhood? Do I live here? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I live in the neighborhood. Well, we should totally be friends because we are literally like the same exact species. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can be friends. All right, yeah, let's be friends. You want to come to my friend Jeremiah's house later today? Jeremiah's house? Uh, yeah, sure. What's happening there? Oh, uh, you know, we're just gonna have the best party ever. What? The best party ever? Uh, okay, yeah, sure. I'm down. All right, come with me. Uh, okay, yeah. When is this party? Well, we're celebrating his birthday, of course. What is his birthday today? Uh, okay. So let me ring the doorbell, Jeremiah. Are you home? Oh, hello. You must be Jeremiah's friend. Yeah, uh, hello there, Jeremiah's mom. We're here for his birthday party. Oh, well, you boys come right inside. All right, thank you so much. You can go ahead and go to Jeremiah's room. He will be here soon. All right, thanks a lot, Jeremiah's mom. Okay, well, let's head up to his room. I think his room is upstairs, and this is probably his room right here. Well, Jeremiah's has a cool room. Yeah, he sure does. Well, while we're waiting for Jeremiah's, how about we play a game? A game? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess we can play a game. All right, let's play Truth or Dare. Truth or Dare? Okay, sure. Well, who's going first? You're going first, obviously. Uh, okay, yeah, I guess I can go first. Well, I dare you to take off your helmet. What? Oh, uh, no, no, no. My head doesn't come off. Well, what do you mean your head doesn't come off? I thought it was like a costume or something. What? No, why would this be a costume? Well, because you look exactly like me. Are you sure your TV can't come off your head here? Let me try to pull it off. No, 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 no. Do not try to... Oh, life is so good. I could have sleep in every single day and do nothing all day. Secret man, wake up. This is my fifth time trying to tell you to do your chores today. I'm getting fed up with you. What, mom? Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry. But I don't want to do my chores. See ya. Hey, get out of your bed, mister. I've honestly had it up to here with you. I'm thinking of kicking you out of our house. Wait, what? Kicking me out of your house? But, Mom, I didn't do anything. Yeah, that's the point. You never do anything. You're so lazy and poor. Oh, Mom, you're so annoying. Well, I'm just gonna sleep here. Bye. Okay, son, honestly, you're out. Go pack a bag, and you can come home when you're rich. Wait, what, Mom? You're kicking me out of the house? That's what I just said. But, Mom, you're so annoying. I literally have zero dollars to my name right now. Well, can I take the supercar? No, you cannot take my supercar. Now, take this bag and fill it with some stuff that you will need. Are you kidding me, Mom? This small bag? Well, let's see what I even have. Uh, okay, I literally got nothing. Well, can I put these pillows in there? No, those are my pillows. You can only put stuff that you own. Yeah, but I literally own nothing. Oh my gosh, you're annoying, Mom. Well, I guess I'll just come back to you when I'm rich. See ya. Okay, bye. Oh, my mom is literally so annoying. I should not have been kicked out of the house for being poor. But now it seems like I have to get some jobs to get super duper rich. And after I get rich, I can go back home. So let's see ya, huh? What should my first job be? Bok, bok, bro. Kevin Gushley stores hiring. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. Hey, there, Mr. Chicken. Can I get a job here? Oh, hey there. You want a job at the grocery store? Yeah, I really do because I literally just got kicked out of my house and I'm poor right now. All right, go ahead and go inside. Uh, okay, Mr. Chicken. And hey there, TV woman. Can I get a job here? Uh, I guess you can have a job here, but don't you have a lot of money? Why would you need a job? Well, I kind of got kicked out of my mama's house and I'm poor. So that's why I need a job. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, you can start your job right now if you would like. Oh, really? Thanks a lot, TV woman. Well, I guess I'll just be the cashier. Just don't steal any money. All right, I won't. Trust me. And I'm gonna go take a break. Bye. See ya. And guys, it seems like I'm a cashier now, so let's see how much money I made. And hopefully I become rich from this job, and hopefully I don't mess anything up. Good morning. Oh, look, it's our first customer. Uh, hey there, kid. Hello, I'm here to get my Doritos. Oh, good to hear. Well, just grab them and come up to the front desk so you can buy some Doritos. Oh, wait, psych, I'm taking them. Bye. Wait a second, kid. No, 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 you cannot steal. Hey, get back here, kid. Yummy Doritos. Oh, kid, get over 
of here. Ha <laughs> two, wait, I'll finish them. Wait, what? Are you serious? You just go and finish the Doritos? Yeah, I finished the whole bag. What? Can you pay at least because I'm literally going to get fired for my first job? No, I can't pay you. I actually don't have any money. Then why would he even come into the store? Oh my gosh, you're a weird kid. Bye bye. What? Oh man. Well, that's a great way to start off my job. I literally just got stolen from. Well, hopefully that doesn't happen again because I think if it happens one more time, I literally get fired from my job. Oh, hey there, kid. Uh, could you get me some groceries? Oh, uh, hey there, old man. Guys, it seems like there's another customer here. I know. Uh, yeah. Sure, I can get you some groceries. What would you like, mister? Yeah, I would like all your money. Give me all your money. Hey, yo, what? He has a gun. Hey, hey, hey. Now let me go to the cash register and take everything. No, old man. Stop it. Uh, take this, old man. Oh, uh, that hurts. <laughs> That's what you get, old man. Never try to steal from the store ever again. Speaker man, what'd you do? Oh, hey, TV woman. Look, I just saved the store from a robber. It's not a robber. He's an old man. Now get off of him. Wait, what? No, he is a robber. He literally stole so much money. Oh, my back. Uh, I'm gonna sue you, tight speaker man. Yeah, good luck with that. I have zero dollars to my name. Uh, 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 I stole all the money. Wow, TV woman. I literally had him down there. He stole all the cash money. I don't even care if he stole all the money. He's just an old man. You're fired. Wait, what? I'm fired for protecting the store? Are you serious right now? Yes, and do not come back. Well, am I gonna get paid at least? Yeah, here's one dollar. What? One dollar? Are you serious right now? Oh my god. This job sucked anyway. See ya. Oh, I literally just tried to save the store from a robber. And then I got fired because it was an old man that I just beat up. And honestly, it doesn't really seem like these jobs are working for me, so maybe I can start a business and get rich that way, huh? But what even would my business be? Let me think. Oh, Sparky, you're such a good boy. Wait a second. What if I made a dog walking business? Hey, dude, I have a question for you. Oh, uh, yeah, what is your question? Oh, uh, how much would you pay someone to walk your dog? Well, I don't know. Maybe I could pay them like $100. Hey, what? $100? Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, can I maybe walk your dog sometime? Uh, yeah, sure. I actually need him to get walked right now. Wait, really? Uh, all right. I guess I can walk your dog. All right, perfect. Here's his leash. All right, thanks a lot. And by the way, what's your doggy's name? His name is Sparky. Oh, all right. And is there anything I should know about Sparky? No, not really. Just when you're done walking him, come back to my house. My house is right up there. Uh, okay. Thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Have fun, Sparky. See ya, dude. And I cannot wait to get so rich and sparky. You are the first dog I've ever walked ever. So hopefully nothing bad happens. But oh my gosh, I've been walking for a super long time, so I'm just gonna sit down here and sparky hey, right here, boy. Do not move. And by the way, guys, after this, I think I should be worth $101. But to be considered rich, I think I'm gonna have to have $1,000. So I'm only one-tenth of the way there, but don't worry. I'll get there soon. Anyways, that was a good break, but now it's time for me to get back to work. Wait a second. Where did sparky just go? Oh, no. This is not good at all. Sparky literally just ran away. Sparky, where are you? Hello? Oh my gosh, I forgot dogs can't even talk. Where did Sparky just go? Oh man. If I were a dog, where would I be? Let's sink. Well, here, let's check the pool because dogs like to swim for some reason and no, he's not in the pool. Oh my gosh, this is super, super bad. That guy's literally gonna kill me. So I'm gonna have to find Sparky fast and I'm gonna have to search everywhere. Well, here's the police station so maybe I can file a report on the missing doggy. And uh, uh, hey, Mrs. Police Woman, I have an urgent report to file. Oh, hello. What is it? Well, I was walking a dog, and he literally just ran away. So can you help me find him? Uh, sorry, kid. I can only file a missing report. What? Are you serious? Well, please help me. It's super duper urgent. Because if I don't find him, I'll lose out on $100, and then I'm pretty sure the guy's going to kill me. Well, there are hundreds of missing dogs around here, so it's going to be pretty hard to find one little dog. But please, woman, please. Uh, here. How about I give you, like, $20 out of the $100 I get? Oh, wait a second. That's more than I get paid hourly, sure. Wait, really? Oh my gosh, okay, okay. Well, Mrs. Police Woman, do you have a car that we can ride in? Uh, yes, I do outside. Come on, follow me. Okay, thanks a lot, and hopefully we can find this missing dog. And now let's find your missing dog. All right, Mrs. Police Woman, and wait a second. That old man that was just right there, he literally robbed the store that I was working at for so much money. Okay, here, let me talk to him. All right, Mrs. Police Woman, and wait a second. Hey, old man, that's a dog. Oh, look who it is. It's Titan Speaker Man. What do you mean it's a dog? I know it's a dog. It's literally my dog. No, it's not. It was the dog that I was walking. Sir, you're under arrest for stealing the dog. What? What do you mean I'm under arrest? Hey, stop it. Yeah, this is what you get for stealing. Never steal ever again. Uh, you won't see the last of me. Yeah, whatever you say, old man. Well, thanks a lot, Mrs. Police Woman. I'm just gonna head back to that guy's house so I can return this dog. See ya. Okay, bye. Get home safely. And thankfully, I got Sparky back. And wait a second. I think I owe that police woman $20. Yeah, whatever. I don't think she'll realize. Well, let's just head back to that guy's house and hopefully
hopefully he can pay me. And knock, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, I wonder who could be at my dog. Oh, hey there, Titan Speaker Man. Hey there, I'm back with your dog. Oh, thank you so much for walking him. Was he a good boy? Yeah, he was. All right, good. And thank you so much for walking my dog once again. Yeah, no problem. I'll walk him anytime. So here's your $100, and I'm also going to give you a $1,000 tip. Hey, yo, what? $1,000 tip? No way. Yes, wait. Don't worry. I'm super duper rich. You can see my mansion. Oh, yeah. This house is super duper big. Well, thanks a lot. Yep, no problem. Here you go. Well, thanks a lot, mister. You do not know how much this means to me. Well, now I'm going to go back to my house and see if I can live with my mom again since I'm rich now. And oh, I'm back home. Knock, 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 mom. So you would like to buy a bike? Yeah, we're really bored right now, so hopefully it will be fun. Perfect. Well, that's going to be $15. $15? Uh, speaker man, do you even have $15? Oh, huh, well, it seems I have exactly $15, but this is the last of my money. So hopefully this bike can cure our boredom. Okay, perfect. Here you go. All right, thank you so much. Hopefully this bike will be fun. Whoa, speaker man, that bike looks really awesome. Yeah, I know it does. Well, let's go for a test ride and hopefully this bike can cure our boredom. Oh. Speaker man, are you okay? Oh, that really hurt. Oh, no, buddy. Here, let me help you get up. Oh, I crashed the bike and this is still so boring. Yeah, it is. I don't know why we wasted our money on that if it didn't even cure our boredom. Yeah, well, do you know any way else to cure our boredom? Well, we don't have any more money, so we need to find something to cure our boredom that doesn't sell at a store. Yeah, well, do you know anyone that makes any cool stuff? Uh, I only know one person that really makes things. Really? Who? TV woman. Oh, yeah, she does make things. Do you want to sneak into her lab? Yeah, let's do it. Maybe she'll have some stuff that can cure our boredom. Yeah, hopefully she will. And now we're at TV Woman's house, and let's try to go through the front door, and oh my gosh, it's literally locked. Which means we're gonna have to find another way in. TV Woman, let us in! Hey, cameraman, be quiet, bro. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. We're supposed to be sneaking inside, and you screaming is gonna make her find us. Oh, yeah, you're right about that, bro. Okay, I'll be a little more quiet. Well, how are we gonna sneak in, bro? Well, I don't know yet. Here, come down here and let's see. Oh, well, wait a second. There's literally nothing right here. I'm just gonna rush her third. Oh, my head. Speaker Man, are you serious? You literally know that that's glass. Oh, well, I actually didn't know, considering I just banged my head in it. Alright, well, come on. We actually need to find a way in. Let's go to the backyard or something. Yeah, let's see. Look, we can literally hop right over the fence and, huh? Maybe she has a door open. Wait. The door isn't opening. And wait a second, cameraman. Look. TV Woman is right there. Yeah, I know she is. Did you not notice that the whole entire time? Hey, TV Woman, let us in. Hey, hey, be quiet, bro. Be quiet. Oh, who's at my back door? Hey, TV Woman. Uh, it's us. We were wondering if we could come into your laboratory. Oh, hey, guys. This door is actually locked. So you have to go to the front door. All right, TV Woman. And cameraman, you're not supposed to scream, buddy. Well, we weren't going to get it anyway, speaker man. And guys, welcome to my laboratory. Well, this is awesome, TV Woman. So you have your better up here. Whoa. This is so cool. Yeah, I know, right? I'm just working on a few potions right now. Huh? A few potions? Well, what are they? Well, one of them makes you really tiny and one gives you makeup instantly. Wait a second. Do you guys want to be my subjects? Here, come on, sit down. What? Do we want to be your test subjects? Uh, okay, TV Woman. Speaker man, I think this is going to finally cure our boredom. Yeah, me too. Okay, boys, here is your makeup potion. Huh, the makeup potion? All right. Well, cameraman, let's drink at the same time. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it, speaker man. All right, ready, set, drink. Wow, you guys look so pretty. Oh, what do you mean pretty? Look at my face. I look super duper old and ugly. Uh, yours must have malfunctioned. Look at my face. I look super beautiful. Yes, you sure do, cameraman. Well, can you revert this potion back? This thing is disgusting. Uh, yeah, let me do that real quick. Oh, all right, so let me drink it in. There we go. I'm back to normal. Yay, it worked. Well, that potion was pretty fun, but could we try with a tiny potion now? Because that sounds even more fun. Yes, of course you can, but no humans actually ever drank it before, so hopefully nothing goes bad. What? So we're gonna be the first time drinkers? Yep, you are my test subject. And here's your potion. Oh, all right. Hey, cameraman, are you ready to drink it? Yeah, dude, I'm ready to drink it, but I'm kind of scared. Dude, don't be scared. It's gonna be all right. Well, let's drink it. Ready, set, drink. And it worked, kind of. Goo goo gaga. Mama. Oh, uh, I'm not your mama. Oh, no, I just created some babies. Mama. You're our mommy now, mommy. That's speaker man and cameraman. I am not your mommy. Uh-oh, I gotta find a way to revert this back. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, what are you doing on computer? Baby cameraman, I am not your mommy. But I am trying to find out how to revert you back to your normal self. Uh, you actually are a mommy. And mommy, this is boring. Yeah, mommy, I'm bored. I want to do fun stuff. <gasps> Look, there's a soda. Uh, no, 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 don't drink that. Sugar rush. Hey, get back here. Oh, let me try. No, 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 don't try that. Huh? Oh, sugar rush! Oh my gosh, two babies with a sugar rush! What have I done? This is so much fun! Hey, brother, let's go run around the town! All right, let's go do it, speaker man. I'm right behind you. No, get back here, baby! Hey, 
but you can't get me, mommy. Oh my gosh, you guys are way too fast. I can't catch up to you. Let's go steal ice cream. Yeah, let's do this. Bye, mommy. No, stealing is bad. We are going to have so much fun, baby brother. Look at the ice cream. There's literally so much ice cream, baby brother. And ooh, birthday cake is my favorite ice cream. Oh, this is so good. La, la, la. And I'm on an even more sugar rush. Brother, this is so much fun. We're literally babies. And you know what? I think we should cause havoc to the whole entire town. Let's do it because that's what babies are known for. And look, there's literally a swimming pool right here. Let's jump in, Geronimo. Wee. Babies, you can't swim. Oh, no, I think I'm drowning. Oh, my gosh, cameraman, get out of there. Oh, no, 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 I'm drowning. Oh, thank you so much for saving me, Mommy. Oh, uh, cameraman, you can't go swimming in the pool alone. Yeah, that's why I went with my brother, but I was literally drowning. Well, Mom, we're going to go cause more havoc. See ya. No, baby, get back. Here. So, baby brother, what do you want to do? Well, baby brother, honestly, I was thinking that we robbed the whole entire bank. Oh, my gosh. That is the best idea ever. Let's go to the bank and let's steal all the money. Yeah, let's do this. And we made it to the bank, but we have to be super, super quiet. Because if people are here, that will ruin our whole entire plan. <laughs> yeah, so let's look around. And let's look if we can find anything to steal from the bank. Yeah, let's see. Uh-huh. There's nothing on this floor, so maybe there's something on the top floor. Let's go up here. And look, brother. There's a room right here but we need a key card to get inside. Well, lucky for you, I just found a key card. Oh my goodness, no way. Wait. Look, brother, there's a literal vault right here. Brother, let's wake inside of it and let's do all the money. Yeah, let's do this. Well, back up, level. I have to explode this. What, brother? Where do you even get that? Don't ask any questions. I am a professional robber. Now, quick, let's grab the money and run. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, let's do this. Uh, yes, we have the money. Quick, run. We're so rich. Quick, run. Well, brother, now the police are gonna be chasing us. Oh, yeah, they sure I forgot all about that. But wait a second. Do you even know where mommy is? No, I have no idea. Well, I think she'll actually be really happy because we have so much money for her. Yeah, that's true. Hey, there are the robbers. Wait a second, brother. Uh-oh. The police guard's right there. Run! We gotta get out of here. Hey, you babies get here right now. Ah, uh, brother, she arrested me. Wait, what? You got arrested? Oh, no. Uh, give me back my brother. Haha, uh -huh, you guys are both locked inside the car. What? I didn't mean to go inside of here. Oh, my gosh. Now, where is your mom? Mommy's house. Well, our mommy's house is right there. Okay, well, I'm gonna drop you guys off. You've been very naughty boys. Yeah, I know we have. It's been so much fun. Well, let's go say hi to mommy. Yep, and thanks for the money. Hey, wait, I need that money back. Brother, come inside fast. Here, let me lock the door. And now she cannot get our money. Mommy's gonna be so excited once she sees this. Yeah, she's gonna be so proud of us. Oh, no, oh, no, no. I gotta figure out a way to switch them back. Oh, uh, hello, mom. Hey, mommy, look what we got you. Oh, my gosh, babies, there you are. Uh, where did you get all that money? Oh, we just robbed a bank. Nothing much. What? You robbed a bank? Yeah, and we got all of the money just for you. No, no, no. You guys are going in time out. What? In time out? Are you serious, Mommy? Hey, put me down. Hey, put my brother down, Mommy. You gotta stay up here and think about what you did, and I have to return that money to the bank. Oh, my gosh, Mommy. You're literally the worst, Mommy. At least give me a baby bottle. Okay, I'll warm up a baby bottle for you, but first I have to return this money. Oh, uh, brother, that was a literal fail. Yeah, I know, brother. She didn't even like the money. And now I'm really sad, and I just want to go to bed. Yeah, me too, kind of, but brother. Now is our best time to cause havoc because she literally just walked upstairs. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. So we can escape from time out. Yeah, we sure can. <laughs> well, what should we even do, brother? Well, uh, I don't really know. Let's just, like, break some stuff. What? Break some stuff? Really? Yeah, but first we need to, like, find a hammer or something. Oh, well, where would mommy have a hammer? Well, mommy is a genius, so she probably has a hammer somewhere. But, oh, no, mommy's right there. Okay, go back down. Yeah, go down fast. And look, I just found a hammer right here. What? Where do you get that from? It was just sitting on her desk or something. I don't even know. Well, quick, grab it. Oh, uh, okay brother. Well, what should we destroy with these hammers? Well, how about we destroy these lights? Yeah, take this light. Ha <laughs> ha. Ow, this hurts so much. Stop hitting me. <laughs> that was my light voice. Well, now that we destroy the lights, how about we destroy mommy's computer? Yeah, let's destroy her computer. Ha <laughs> ha, mommy. This is what you get. A cameraman, I have your milky. Oh, uh, my milky. Hi, mommy. Oh my gosh, what are you guys doing? We destroyed your computer. Yep, we sure did. It was super fun. Hey, give me that hammer. Where'd you even get this? Uh, from your desk. Yeah, it was just sitting there, Mommy. You should probably put it away next time because that was really silly of you. My whole computers are ruined. I'm never going to...
should be able to turn you back now. Well, we only actually broke one computer. We didn't get to the other one yet. Oh, well, at least that's good. But I'm trying to turn you back to regular humans. You can't be babies anymore. Why, but I want to be a baby forever. Yeah, me too. I like being babies. And this milk really tastes delicious. No, guys, you have to go back to living your normal life. And whatever, old brother. Let's go back to timeout. Yeah, let's go back to timeout. Good, you should go back to timeout. You've been so bad. Well, brother, what should we do before mommy tries to turn us back? Uh, I'm not really sure. We already stole ice cream and robbed a bank, which was super duper fun. And we also broke her computer. Yeah, we sure did. Well, huh, maybe we can have a farting competition. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah, and the winner is whoever has the loudest fart. Okay, here I go. Uh, oh, boy, that was a big fart. Let me go now. Three, two, one. Uh, dude, that was literally the tiniest fart I ever smelled in my life. What? Are you serious? That was literally such a big fart. I don't know what you're even saying. Well, I don't want to be here anymore, dude. Why? Because I just won the farting competition? What? No, that's not why. I'm not jealous at all. Actually, maybe I might be a little bit jealous. Well, uh, Mommy, do you have that potion that can turn us back now? I'm really tired. I'm making the final touches, and I think this will work. Wait, but dude, I want to be a baby forever. Wait a second. Yeah, me too. Well, we need to figure out a strategy for us not to turn back into humans. So how about we, like, go to sleep or something? I mean, she can't even feed us in. Yeah, that's a good idea, brother. Hey, guys, no, you can't go to sleep. You have to drink this. You can't be my babies anymore. What, Mom? I don't want to drink that. Well, you gotta drink it, mister. Well, too bad, Mom. I'm not. Open up. Wait, Mom. No, no, no. Whoa, where am I? What, you can't remember what just happened? Oh, uh, no. Honestly, I have zero idea what just happened. Well, I gave you the tiny potion and it malfunctioned and you guys became literal babies. What? We became babies? And Cameraman still is a little baby and he's so cute, but he's sleeping. Bruh, Cameraman, wake up. Uh, guys, I'm actually asleep. Wait a second. Why is there a giant? Am I in my dream? No, Cameraman. I'm back to normal. Now, TV woman, feed him the potion so it can turn back to normal as well. What? No, I don't want any potion. I want to be a baby. Okay, well, you can just drink this yummy milkshake I made then. Oh, yummy milkshake? Uh, okay. Yum, yum, yum. Whoa, what just happened to me? Ah, uh, my eyes! Dude, take off those baby clothes. What the heck? Wait a second. What are you guys saying? I literally just woke up. I don't even know what just happened. Wait a second. What am I wearing? Bro, why are you dressed up as a grown baby? What the heck? So, TV man, I want to get some Doritos, some pizza, even more Doritos, and some water. All right, dude, and look at this. There are literally energy drinks. I love energy drinks so much. Oh, my gosh. I do as well. Here, let me get some energy drinks. And, dude, I'm pretty sure that's all I'm going to get. Yeah, and I'm going to grab a Reese, and I think I'm done. All right. Well, little Timmy, dude, we would like to buy all these these items. All right, both of us. Seems like it's gonna be about $50. Wait a second. $50? Uh, do you have $50, Speaker Man? No, dude. I thought you were paying. What? I thought you were paying. Why would I pay? I'm literally broke, dude. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, little Timmy, can we get these for free today? No, you guys cannot get them for free. You literally have to pay the price, dude. And if you guys don't pay the price, then I'm gonna have to call the cops. Wait, what? You're gonna have to call the cops on us if we don't pay? Well, Timmy, you would never call the cops on us. We're literally best friends. Well, if you guys don't steal from my grocery store, then I'm gonna have to call the cops. Well, little Timmy, uh, we would never steal, right, TV man? Uh, yeah, we would never steal. Here, speaker man, take the stuff. All right, bro, all right, I'll take it. Well, little Timmy, don't worry. Since we can't pay for it, we'll just go put everything back. Speaker man, get out of here. Uh, all right, bro, here, let me just walk outside and see you, little Timmy. All right, don't worry, little Timmy. I'm putting the stuff back. Okay, I see you're putting the stuff back, but wait a second. You're only putting two things back. You guys grabbed, like, 50 things. Oh, my God, speaker man just ran with all the stuff. I'm calling the police. Uh-oh, this is bad. I think little Timmy noticed. Oh, no, this is so bad. Oh, I'm sorry, little Timmy. We gotta get out out of your TV, man. Let's go back to my house. And bro, quick, run us out of the house. Okay, hopefully no police are gonna come to our house. Because little Timmy literally called the police on us. I can't believe that he saw you get away with all that candy. Yeah, me neither. I probably shouldn't have screamed. Knock, knock, knock. Police, open up. Oh, no. I think the police is here. Let me go see. And oh, my goodness. Speaker woman, are you here to arrest us? Yes, I am here to arrest you. You have broken the law. We have broken the law. Uh, and how have we broken the law exactly? You stole lots of food from Timmy's store. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry, speaker woman. I mean, we were just hungry and I didn't have any money. And we almost didn't get caught. And if we didn't get caught, then that means that we wouldn't be breaking any law. So could you maybe not arrest us, pretty please? Uh, no, that's not how it works. I have to do my job. Wait a second, Speaker Woman, no. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that this is happening right now. Well, you better believe it. You guys are going to be in jail for a long time. Oh my goodness. Wait a second, TV Man. I think we should escape out of Speaker Woman's prison. Oh my gosh, that is a great idea, Speaker Man. First, we have to see what the prison looks like because it might be impossible. Yeah, it may. So we're going to have to scan through all of the prisons. All right, and here we are. This is my prison. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. It is massive. Oh, my gosh. And look how tall these gates are. There's no way we're going to be able to jump over them. Oh, uh, well, you shouldn't be able to escape any prison anyway. Oh, all right. Well, TV Man, bro, we still got to try to escape out of here because I do not want to stay in here for the rest of my life. Yeah, me too, Speaker Man. We got to look around the prison and see if there's any way that we can escape. But first, let's stop talking and start getting inside here. Come on. All right, yeah. Uh, Speaker Woman, what do we do here? Well, first, you got to go through this no weapon scanner 
to make sure you have no weapons on you. Oh, all right. Well, I have no weapons, okay? Okay, that is very good. And now we're going to have to take your picture right over here. Wait, what? My picture? I didn't even shower today. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, say cheese. Ah, uh, cheese. All right, that's a great picture to go in your rinse stuff. Okay, now, TV Man, you sit down, too. Oh, uh, okay. And click. There we go. Wait a second. I don't get to say cheese. You literally just took the photo? Yeah, sorry. That's just how the prison works. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. I really wanted to say cheese. Well, Speaker Woman, what's going on now? Where are we going to go? Now you're going to go to your prison cell. Wait, what? We're going to our prison cells already? Yep, boys. Follow me up these stairs. Oh, my goodness. I can't believe it right now. And are we both in the exact same jail cell? Yep, you sure are. Be lucky that you have a roommate. Oh, man. All right. Well, you guys can have some fun rotting in here, and I'll be back when it's lunchtime. Wait, what? You'll be back when it's lunchtime? No. Oh, my goodness. Speaker Man, bro, I really do not like it in here already. And we've only been in here for like five minutes, dude. Yeah, I know. This place actually really sucks. And hopefully my fish doesn't die while we're inside of here because I forgot to feed him today and give him a walk. Bro, are you serious right now? Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to figure out a way to escape out of here. I say when it's lunchtime, we should try to figure out a way to escape out of this whole entire prison. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. We're just gonna have to walk around and figure out where to go. But first, maybe we could find a way out of this prison in this prison cell. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Well, here, let's look above us and no, there's no vents right there. Well, maybe there's something on the top of the bed, and no, there's literally nothing. Well, how about under the bed? Let's see. Yeah, let's see, and no, there's nothing under there. Yeah, well, there's only one more place that we can go in. And that is the toilet, so let's look inside, and oh my gosh. The person that was in here before us forgot to flush, bro. Yeah, it literally smells like poop, oh my gosh. Well, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be any easy way to get out of this prison cell, which means there is only one way left. Wait a second, uh, what do you mean, TV man? I'm gonna run through the door! Wait, what? Oh. Uh, TV man, are you alright? Right, bro? Oh my gosh, I just banged my head so hard. Yeah, I can tell. Oh man, bro, get up right now. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man, that did not work one bit. Yeah, I think I can tell. Well, boys, stop playing around. It's time for lunch. Wait a second, it's time for lunch already? Well, that was quick. I guess I didn't have to run at the door after all. Yeah, but sure was. Now come over here so I can give you some food. Oh, uh, all right, Speaker Woman. Well, what is for lunch? Today's lunch special is two pieces of bread, potatoes, and carrots. Ew, carrots? What the heck? With a side of green beans. Green beans? Oh my gosh. You guys not have any blocks Donald's inside of here or anything like that? Because I really want some fast food. I don't want this trash. Yeah, me neither. I don't like this stuff. Uh, sorry. Well, you shouldn't have stolen anything to go to jail. Oh my gosh, that's true. Wait a second. I still have this stuff from Little Timmy's store. Oh my gosh, me too. Boys, come over here. You gotta empty your pockets. Wait, what? We have to empty our pockets? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, we shouldn't have done that. Yep, this food is not permitted in my jail cell. Oh man, all right. Well, here you go, Speaker Woman. Here you go. Mmm, thanks a lot. And these Doritos will taste delicious. Wait a second. What the heck? You're eating my Doritos? Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Well, Speaker Man, it seems like we have to eat this horrible prison food. Yeah, we sure do, bro. Oh, wait a second. Look. Speaker Woman is literally right there on that chair. So, you know what? While she's distracted, maybe we can find a way out of here. Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man. That's a good idea. Well, uh, let's look around. First, let's go to the showers. The showers, bro? Oh, all right. Yeah, well, we have to sneak past real fast. And, oh, my gosh. Let's see. And, nope. There's literally no exit right here. Oh, man. They really built this prison well. I was for sure thinking that there would be a vent inside of here. Yeah, me too. Well, dude, we still have the kitchen to check, so let's go sneak across again and let's try to go check it. Boys, where do you think you're going? Oh, uh, hey, Speaker Woman. Uh, we're, we're going to the table so we can eat with you. Yeah, you better be going to the table so the kitchen is off limits. Oh, yeah, don't worry. We weren't going in the kitchen. I was just coming over here to grab my food. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now you better eat up. Lunch is almost over. Uh, all right. Hey, TV man, bro. After lunch is over, I think we should try to sneak into the kitchen again. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man, but this time let's not get caught. Yeah, and hopefully there's an exit in there. Hey, what are you guys whispering about? Oh, uh, nothing, Speaker Woman. Yeah, nothing. Well, Speaker Woman, what are we gonna do after this? Well, after this, you get to have some time in the courtyard. Wait a second, the courtyard? Uh, well, Speaker Woman, how about we skip the courtyard for today? Can we just stay inside? Nope, sorry. You guys have to go to the courtyard. Oh, my gosh. All right, Speaker Woman. Oh, TV Man, bro. There may be an exit in the courtyard. Yeah, that's a good idea, Speaker Man. And if there is an exit in the courtyard, we can go back to the kitchen. Hopefully there's one there. Guys, whispering. You know what? I'm just gonna bring you to the courtyard already. Wait, what? You're gonna bring us to the courtyard already? Oh my gosh, I didn't even get to eat my food. Eh, it looks disgusting anyways. Yeah, I didn't get to eat it either. Well, let's go to the courtyard and oh my goodness. TV man, look at how high these walls are. Oh my gosh, these are literally like 50 feet tall. Yeah, that's the point. So no one throws the ball outside of the wall. Yeah, and so no one escapes. Oh my goodness. Ha 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 ha. You guys both thought you were gonna escape out of my courtyard. You guys are so hilarious. 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, Speaker Man, let's just play some basketball. See you later, Speaker Woman. See you, boys. Have fun. Oh, I can't believe this, bro. I thought that we would have at least a chance to get out of the courtyard. But the walls are so high, so we can't even get up there. Yeah, but wait a second, Speaker Man. I have a great idea. Oh, uh, what is it, bro? Maybe we could grab these balls and stack them up. And then when we stack them up, we could jump on top of here, and then we could jump on that railing up there. Wait a second. That is not even a bad idea. So you know what? Yeah, let's try that. So here, I'm going to grab the ball, and I'm going to chuck it right on top of this other one. And wait a second, dude. Look. They're literally so bouncy, and you can't even climb on them. Oh, my gosh. Well, uh, maybe we could take this machine over here and bring it over here. Let me try to see it. Oh, my gosh. It doesn't even seem like we can move this thing. I think they cemented it into the ground. Yeah, I think they did, too. Well, TV Man, there's one last option. How about I jump on your head? You know what, Speaker Man? Okay, go ahead and do it. Come on. All right, well, here, I'm going to jump your head. Ready, set, jump. And, uh, TV Man, are you all right, buddy? Oh, my gosh, Speaker Man, that was not a good idea. You literally just made me fall over. Yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Well, it doesn't seem like we can escape out of here. But we still have the kitchen, so after the courtyard session is done, we got to run into their fashion. Hopefully, we can find an exit, bro. Yeah, hopefully we can. Well, while we're waiting, I guess we'll just play some basketball or something. Yeah, you know what? Let's play basketball. Oh, come on, Speaker Man. You can't get the ball. Ha ha. No way, bro. You just missed. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, wait a second. Give me the ball. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Nope, nope. I'm going to score. Take that. Yes, sir. Wait a second. I just missed. Are you serious? Oh, my gosh. We're literally so bad at this, Speaker Man. Yeah, we sure are. All right, boys. Your courtyard time is up. Wait a second. Is up already? Wow, that was pretty fast. Well, now you got to go take a shower. What? Take a shower? Well, actually, I really need a shower. Because I haven't showered for like three days straight. Oh my gosh, Speaker Man. That's disgusting. You should be showering at least every two days. Yeah, I know, bro. All right, boys. You guys can go in, but I'm a girl, so I can't follow you in. Well, TV Man, come inside, bro. All right, we'll be out soon. All right, dude. She's literally out there. And I think she may be distracted right now. So you know what? I say we make a run for the kitchen. And hopefully we can get inside of it and hopefully we can escape. But Speaker Man, what if she's literally watching us outside? If we get caught, then I'm going to never be able to see my fish again. And he is probably going to die. Oh, yeah, that's true, bro. Well, one of us is going to have to walk out there just to see if the coast is clear. All right, well, I'll act like my shower is done, and I'll let you know, okay? All right, TV man, yeah. Well, let me just walk outside. And, uh, speaker woman, are you here? Oh, my gosh, bro. It doesn't seem like she's there. Yeah, bro, she's not here. Okay, quick. We gotta head to the kitchen fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go fast. Oh, my goodness. I cannot believe that we're escaping right now. And let's see. Is there anything inside of the kitchen? Okay, there's boxes. Maybe we can use these for something. So, let's see if we can pick them up. And no, bro, they're way too heavy. Well, maybe there's another way that we can get it out. Wait a second. How did I not see this before, bro? Look. There's a literally a vent right here. Oh my gosh, there's a vent system. This is perfect, Speaker Man. Okay, we gotta get inside. Come on. Yeah, let's go, bro. Let's try to get in. And oh my goodness, I just made it inside. And I did too. And look, bro, there's literally so many exits in here. But I'm pretty sure only one is correct, so we're gonna have to go through every single one. And hopefully we can get out. Yeah, but we gotta make this quick because Speaker Woman's gonna catch on, dude. Yeah, she sure is. Well, here. Let's try to get through this vent right here. And oh my goodness. Wait a second. Look at me. I just fell down here. No way, bro. I'm coming down. All right, well, here. Let me grab this flashlight so we can see and whoa whoa there are literally so much stuff but where did the vents even go wait a second what? the vent is right here so let me hop inside of it and where even are we oh huh, it seems like we're in another storage room yeah it sure does well let's look around in here and let's see if there's any way that we can get out wait a second bro there are literally two doors one door right here and one right here but this one seems to lead to the prison yeah it sure does but we still have one more door and it seems like this is the elevator yeah it sure does seem like that well here bro let's hop inside and hopefully we can actually go down. All right, yeah, but we gotta be quiet because I think Speaker Robot's gonna hear us. Yeah, me too. Well, here, let's go down. And, bro, look at this. This is literally the entrance. Oh, my gosh, I cannot believe we're about to escape. But we gotta hurry up fast. Come on. Yeah, let's go, bro. Hey, boys, where are you going? Wait, what the heck? Oh, no, this is bad, bro. She's literally right behind us. Oh, no, we gotta get out of here quick. Try to jump over. Wait, what the heck? The gate just shut? No. Come on, come on. We gotta get out fast. Wait a second. Look, hop on here. Uh-oh. This is not good, bro. You boys are in so much trouble. Oh my gosh, Speaker Woman, I can't believe you caught us. Well, I guess you could just come over and put handcuffs on me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now get in these handcuffs. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, your key card just hit the opener. Quick, make a run for it. Oh my gosh, bye, Speaker Woman. Hey, no, come back. Oh, uh, boys, I'm so bored. I've been watching TV for hours and there's literally no good channels on. It's literally just these two bunny rabbits kissing. Oh man. Well, uh, what can I do to cure my boredom? Hmm, maybe I can make some food or something. So yeah, you know what? I was gonna go make some food over here. And guys, by the way, I ordered a package last night, so hopefully it arrives sometime soon. And maybe once that package arrives, it's gonna cure my boredom fully. Well, here, let me grab a banana real fast, and hmm, yo, this is delicious. And honestly, I have no idea how to cook. Knock, knock, knock. Wait a second, guys. 
who is that? Your package is here. No way, my package is here? Holy mackerel, I think the mailman came with my package. Uh, hey there, Mr. Mailman. Oh, hello there, speaker man. How is your day going? Uh, my day is super good, but it's even better since my package is here. All right, perfect. Well, uh, here is your package. Oh my gosh, thanks a lot, Mr. Mailman. I really appreciate it. Yep, no problem, speaker man. Well, have a fun time with their package. I wonder what you bought. All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Mailman. And guys, look, I literally got my package. And I'm gonna open it in one second. So here, let me go on the couch again. And inside this package is the craziest thing ever. So let me open it up real fast. And look at this, boys. This is a lie detector. Yes. Wait, what? It just said yes? Wait. No way, it's actually working. Here, I'm gonna try a question real fast. Uh, Mr. Lie Detector, am I cool? No. Bro, wait. I'm literally the coolest ever. Oh, uh, well, let me try again. Maybe it's malfunctioning. Uh, huh. Mr. Lie Detector, do I have friends? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Well, I guess it's not malfunctioning. Well, Mr. Lie Detector, can I test you out on other people? Yes. No way, guys. The lie detector also works on other people. So, you know what? That just gave me a genius idea. What if I went up to all my friends and I asked them a question? That is such a great idea. Well, you know what? I'm gonna head to the grocery store because I think that little Timmy kid is there. And I really wonder if he's gonna lie to me. So, let's go. And guys, now I'm at the grocery store now. Hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hello there. What way do you in today, speaker man? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just want to ask you a few questions. What, you want to ask me questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, what questions do you want to ask me? This is a super duper easy question. Do you have Doritos in the store? Ah, uh, yes, we have Doritos. Do you want Doritos? Yes. Oh my gosh, guys, it works in all. Yeah, Timmy, sure. Oh, wait, well, here's him Doritos. Okay, thanks a lot. Well, Timmy, I have a few more questions to ask you, all right? Oh, uh, okay, you can ask me anything. Well, uh, do you enjoy working at this job? What? Yes, I love working at this job. This is the best job ever. No. Oh, uh, wait a second. Who just said no? Is there a ghost inside of here? Oh, uh, yeah, maybe. Oh my gosh, guys, this is hilarious. You know what? I'm gonna ask Lil Timmy the funniest question ever. Uh, hey, Lil Timmy, I have another question. This is the final question, all right? Uh, okay, what is the final question? Uh, did you poop yourself this morning? What? No, why would I ever poop myself? That's a disgusting Titan speaker, man. Yes. Oh my gosh, you pooped yourself this morning, Timmy. Why, who just said that was a lie? Hey, uh, I think there's a ghost inside here that said I lied. I did not poop myself this morning. No. Hey, who just said no? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, guys, this is a lot of tech you're so hilarious. Well, hello, Timmy, thanks a lot. Oh, speaker, man, I'm so sad. Yeah, sorry about that. Well, I'm gonna go now. See ya, Timmy. Wait a second, you didn't buy a Doritos. Oh, guys, I know that the lie detector works on other people 100% now. So I'm gonna head over to my friend's house and I'm gonna test it on him. And now I'm at TV Man's house and now, hello there, TV Man. Oh, hey there, Speaker Man. What brings you here? Oh, uh, nothing much. I just wanna play a game with you. You wanna play a game with me? Oh, okay. Well, what game do you wanna play? Do you wanna play Super Lario or Fork Knife? Oh, uh, now nah, I don't wanna play those games. I just wanna ask you a few questions. What? You wanna ask me a few questions? Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, ask me the questions then. All right, TV Man. Well, for the first question, I wanted to ask, do you really like TV Woman? What? Do I like TV Woman? Yes, of course. She's my girlfriend. No, that is false. What the heck? That is false? No way. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, what did I just hear? Was that you talking? Oh, uh, no, no, no. That was not me talking. I think you're hearing something. Oh, uh, okay. Well, uh, what's the next question then? Oh, uh, well, did you eat breakfast this morning? Did I eat breakfast this morning? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Who doesn't eat breakfast? True. Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay, so this thing's not lying. He does not like TV Woman. That is kind of suspicious. I really wonder who he likes. Uh, Speaker Man, why do you keep talking to yourself? Oh, uh, for no reason, buddy. All right, this is getting really suspicious. Well, uh, ask me some more questions, bro. Uh, all right, TV Man. Well, since you don't like TV Woman, do you like Camera Woman? No, I don't like Camera Woman. True. Wait, what? You don't like Camera Woman? Yeah, I don't like Camera Woman. Why would I like Camera Woman? Uh, I don't really know. Well, dude, I have another question for you. Oh, my gosh. How many questions are there going to be? Okay, well, what's the question? Well, this one's pretty personal. Uh, do you like Speaker Woman? What? Do I like Speaker Woman? Why would I like Speaker Woman? She's literally your girlfriend. No, that is false. Wait, what? Why, bro? Wait a second. Who just said that? Uh, Speaker Man, this is getting really suspicious. I think there's a ghost inside of the house. Uh, yeah, me too. Here, I'm gonna step outside for a second. No way. This is so bad. Why is the lie detector saying my best friend likes my girlfriend? Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna confront my friend. Oh, wait a second. Who's calling me? Uh, hello. Who is this? Oh, hey there, TV man. I just wanted to ask if we're going on our date today. If we're going on our date today, uh, yeah, of course we're going on the date. All right, perfect. I'll see you there. All right, Speaker Woman. Uh, I'll See you there. Bye-bye. Uh, TV Man, who was that? Uh, that was just TV Woman. We were just talking about going on a date later today. Really? That was TV Woman? No, it wasn't. False. Uh, hey, who's talking? Oh my gosh, something keeps saying true and false. Like, what even is making that noise? Wait a second, Speaker Man. What is that in your hand? Is that a lie detector? Yeah, it is a lie detector, bro. And I just caught you red-handed. Why was my girlfriend calling you on a phone, and why are you going on a date with her? Your girlfriend wasn't calling me, dude. I'm telling you, it was
this TV woman. Hey, get that stupid thing out of your hands. It's lying. Bro, the lie detector does not lie. Oh, uh, well, it seems like it's like malfunctioning or something like that, dude. Because I am not going on a date with your girlfriend. Trust oh, me. Oh, well, since you want to keep lying to me, I'm going to go confront speaker woman by myself. What? You're going to confront speaker woman? Oh, uh, okay. Well, have fun with that, dude. But I don't know why you're using that lie detector behind my back, dude. Now get out of my house. All right, dude. And holy macro, guys. TV man is so dumb. He was literally in my hand the whole time. And I cannot believe that he was going to go on a date with my girlfriend today. So you know what? I'm going to head over to her house and I'm going to confront her with a lie detector test. And guys, I'm at speaker woman's house. So here, let me just walk inside real fast. Wait a second. What is she doing? Is she putting on makeup right now? What? She's fully dressed up. Huh? She was literally about to go on a date with my best friend. I cannot believe it. Well, you know what? I'm going to break inside of the house and uh, hello there, speaker woman. Oh, well, speaker man, what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Oh, what are you doing all dressed up? Oh, I was just going to go hang out with some friends. Yeah. False. Uh, what was that noise? Oh, uh, it was nothing. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe it just said false. Uh, speaker man, why are you speaking to yourself? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. I was speaking to your fridge. Uh, okay, that's a little weird. Well, I'm going to go and hang out with my friends. Yep, yeah, bye. Hold on, speaker woman. Can I join you? Uh, no, it's just girl time. No boys allowed. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that that just said false. You know what, guys? I'm going to spy on my girlfriend because this is getting way out of hand. Uh, I'm going to have so much fun tonight. Uh, and guys, why is she going in a Brooke Haven Tiny? I honestly think that she's actually going to go on a date with my best friend. This is so outrageous. So you know what? I'm just going to stay right here. And once my friend comes, I'm going to spawn them for a little bit more. And then I'm going to do the lie detector test with them. And if this lie detector says that they're actually going on a date, then I'm going to break up with her. And wait a second. Look, TV man is coming right now. Oh man, this date is going to be so amazing. Wait, did he just say this date? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that this is an actual date. Oh, hey there, speaker woman. Hey there, TV man. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm so excited to be on this date with you. Yeah, me too, speaker woman. But there's kind of a problem. Speaker man came to my house and he was getting really suspicious of us. Yeah, he came by my house too. Wait, really? Are you serious? Okay, that's really suspicious. Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't find that we're here because we are going to have such a fun time on this date. I know. I'm so excited and so hungry. Let's order some food. Well, it seems like there's a steak and some hot dogs right here, so I guess we should just take them. Ooh, I really want a steak. And speaker woman, come sit down right over here and we can start our day. So, how was your day today? My day was great. Thank you for asking. Ugh, gosh, I cannot believe that they're on a date right now. And soon I'm going to confront them. Well, Speaker Roman, how do you think Speaker Man's going to feel whenever he figures this out? Oh, he's not going to care. Yeah, obviously I'm going to care. Yeah, well, he was pretty frustrated when he came to my house. Because he had some sort of, like, lie detector thing, and it was, like, telling him if I was true or false. What? Well, I was hearing some noises when he was asking me some questions. So that might have been the lie detector. Oh, no. Oh, no, this is not good. He came to your house with the lie detector and my house. He definitely knows we're on this date right now. Okay, this is not good. Well, uh, do you want to hop in my car and maybe we could get out of here? Yeah, let's go. Quick. Wait, what? They're going in his car? Are you serious? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to follow them. Where are they even going? Well, Speaker Woman, let's go back to my place. Okay, sounds fun. What? They're going back to his house? No way! Well, I'm gonna go there, and once they're there, I'm gonna confront them. Well, Speaker Woman, let's watch some TV. Okay, what movie do you wanna watch? Well, we could watch some Survivor. I love Survivor. Oh, yeah, me too. Let me go get some popcorn. Oh my gosh, guys, they're literally continuing the day at his house. I'm literally about to bust down this door and confront them. And here's your popcorn, baby. All right, thank you so much, Speaker Woman. What did she call him, baby? Ugh, what the heck? Ugh, I'm so frustrated. Well, Speaker Woman, this day has been going super good so far. Yeah, it sure has. I love spending time with you. Yeah, me too. Do you want to kiss? Yes, I love to. What? They're gonna kiss? Ugh. Guys, what are you doing here? Are you on a date? Uh, no, we're not on a date. We're just hanging out. Yeah, uh, we're just hanging out, Speaker Man. Nothing's going on here. Guys, this whole dark time I was spying on you guys. With my lie detector, I heard you guys were about to kiss. Oh, uh, Speaker Man, you need to get rid of that stupid lie detector. It is literally broken or something. We were just hanging out. Yeah, totally. You guys were literally about to kiss before I bust down this door. Speaker Man, baby, I'm sorry. I love you so much. Yeah, yeah, you love me so much. And why are you even crying? You're the one that's cheating on me. Because I'm sorry. Okay, now please let me love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you say, the lie detector is not lying. And TV Man, why did you do this, bro? You literally stole my girlfriend from me. Well, I didn't mean to, okay? She just wanted to be my girlfriend. What? Are you serious? Ugh, speaker Woman, why did you want to be his boyfriend? Well, because you never want to hang out with me. Bro, I always want to hang out with you. You always just decline me, though. Like, I literally called your phone 55 times yesterday. You declined all the calls. Chill. Uh, you know what? I'm leaving. Yeah, all right. Whatever, Speaker Woman. You know what, TV Man? I'm gonna go get TV Woman to be my girlfriend. See ya. Wait, what? TV Woman to be your girlfriend? Hey, she doesn't know about this. And give me my car back. Where are you going? I'm going to her house right now. All right, everyone. 
everyone. Today we're going to be learning about math. Oh, I love math so much. Uh, I hate math. Hey, Skibbity Toilet, don't be so negative. Math is so much fun. Uh, whatever you say, teacher. Come on now, let us do the math already. Yeah, teacher, let's start the math. All right, Skibbity Toilet, for the first equation, what is one plus one? What is one plus one? Uh, let me think real quick. I think it should be zero. Huh, zero? Are you serious, Skibbity Toilet? What? Yes, I'm serious, Speaker Man, and I think I actually got it correct. Uh, Skibbity Toilet, that's the wrong answer. What? Are you serious? I swear I just got the correct, teacher. You're such a badoy. <gasps> Skibbity Toilet, what did you just call me? I called you a badoy. Uh, guys, what is that word? That is a super duper bad word. Skibbity Toilet, go to the principal office now. Oh my gosh, teacher, you're such a badoy. Can math is a badoy? Can Speaker Man's a badoy? What? Did I'm not a bad. Oh my gosh, okay, okay. I almost just said it. Uh, Speaker Man, that word is a super duper bad word. And if you say it to people, they'll get super duper upset. So if I say that word, the people get upset? Yes, yeah, so please don't say it. Uh, all right, teacher. Well, uh, is class dismissed? Uh, I guess so. All right, well, thanks a lot, teacher. You guys, wait a second. Did you just hear what my teacher said? She said if I say that word, then people get super duper upset. So you know what? I think I'm going to use that word on people because I really want to see what the reaction is. Oh, hey, they'll speak a man. Oh, uh, hey there, little Timmy. Wait a second, guys. Little Timmy is right there. So what if I say the badoink word to him? Oh, my gosh. I really wonder what his reaction is going to be. And uh, hey there, little Timmy. Oh, hey, they'll speak a man. How are you doing today? Uh, my day is doing super good. How is your day, you badoink? <laughs> Uh, a badoink? What's a badoink? Dude, you don't know what a badoink is? Uh, no, what the heck is a badoink? Dude, badoink is a super duper bad word. And if you say it, apparently people have super duper crazy reactions. So, you know what? I want to go around the whole entire town saying it to people. What? Are you serious, dude? It's a bad word? Here, let me scream it and see if anything happens. Oh, uh, all right, little Timmy. Badoink! Uh, who said badoink? Uh-oh, I guess badoink is a bad word. Little Timmy, go to the principal's office. Why are you serious, teacher? I didn't even know what a bad word. No! Oh, little Timmy, I just said we run for a run. Yeah, teacher. Bye-bye. School's over anyway. Hey, get back here. No, I'm not getting back there, you little badoink. I'm gonna call your mother. Oh, my gosh. Little Timmy. That was so hilarious. Yeah, dude. This word is literally so funny. And the power's in our hands. We can literally make anybody mad. Yeah, we sure can, little Timmy. We all do. Who do you want to make mad first? Well, since we're right next to the police station, let's go inside and let's do it to the police man. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea, dude. Let's do it first. And after this, we can find even more people to do it to. Oh, hey, don't make your police man. We would like to file a report. Well, what is it now? You guys are always filing reports for something. Yeah, mister, but this time it's super duper different. We just wanted to say that you're a b b b <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're a b -toy. Hey, get back here. You're not allowed to say that word. I'm going to arrest you guys. Wait, what the heck? He's going to arrest us? Oh, my gosh. Whoa, Timmy, we got to run super fast. Oh, wait, that's one speaker man. Hey, get away from me. Hey, speaker man, hide behind this dumb store. All right, little Timmy, I think we lost him, but hopefully he doesn't get back later to arrest us. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't. He seemed really mad that we said that word. And that word is literally so funny. I don't even know what it means. Yeah, me neither, dude. But the power is literally in our hands. So we got to keep on saying it to other people. Yeah, because their reactions are literally hilarious. Yeah, they sure are. And I really wonder who's going to have the funniest reaction out of all the people. Hey, who are we from my lab? Uh, hey there, Mr. Homeless Man. Uh, sorry, Mr. Homeless Man. We were just hiding behind this dumb store. Uh, we didn't really know that you lived inside there. Please don't do anything bad to us. Uh, I won't do anything bad to you guys. But do you guys have some extra money I could have? Have extra money? Uh, no, Mr. Homeless Man. I'm sorry. Yeah, we have no money here, Mr. Homeless Man. Yeah, I said, give me money, you badoink. What the heck? He called you a badoink. Okay, okay. He also pulled out his axe, so we gotta run. Hey, I'm not a badoink, and why are you trying to hit me with the axe? Oh, no, this is so bad, Speaker Man. Yeah, well, Tim, we gotta run away from this badoink fast. Homeless Man, you are a badoink. Oh, my gosh, little Timmy, this is literally so crazy quick. Let's go hide up here in this room real fast. Whoa, that was literally super scary. Every single time that we say badoink to someone, they literally get so crazy. Yeah, they sure do, bro. And that time, the homeless man literally said badoink and hopped out of a trash can with the axe. Like, what the heck? What even was that? I have no idea, bro. Well, here. Let's think of someone else we can say badoink to. Uh-huh. Who is somewhere around here? Let's see. Well, is there anyone in Club Brooks? And no, there's no one here. Well, how about over here? Wait a second, bro. Look. It's that old cat lady right there. She has so many cats. Oh, my gosh. The old cat lady. She's literally the funniest person in the whole entire world. Yeah, dude. She sure is. When we walk in there and say badoink to her. Oh my gosh. Pico Man, that's a great idea. I think she's going to get so mad. And hopefully her cats don't attack us or something. Yeah, hopefully they don't. Well, uh, let's walk in. And, uh, hey there, Miss Old Cat Lady. Oh, hello. Are you here to buy our cat? Uh, Miss Lady, no, no, no. We are not here to buy a cat. Oh, uh, okay. Well, why are you guys here? Well, because we want to say a special word to you. Oh, uh, okay. That's a little strange. But what word? 
here. Well, Miss Lady, we want to say but dog. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are such naughty mouths. Get back here. Hey, no. Get away from us, crazy cat lady. Ah! Oh, tell me. Run, run, run. Oh, my gosh. By the end of today, we're going to have so many people that are going to be mad at us. Yeah, we're literally making the whole entire town so mad. And I wonder what our consequences are going to be, but I don't think we'll have any. Well, little Timmy, let's just take a break right here. Yeah, that's a good idea, Spico, man. We are literally just having way too much fun. Like, the reactions on these people's faces are literally so hilarious. Yeah, they sure are, and the reactions are just going to get better from here on. We will, we will. Wait a second, little Timmy, look, the cops are right there. Oh, no, I think they're after us. Hey there, kids. Uh, have you seen anybody saying the word bedoink? Oh, my gosh, little Timmy's the cop that we said bedoink to. I don't know how he doesn't recognize us. And, uh, hey there, Mr. Cop. Can you repeat what you just said? Yeah, I said, have you seen anybody saying Bedoy? There were like two kids running around here saying it. I speak, oh man, this guy is literally so dumb. We're literally the people that were saying it. Yeah, we literally are, bro. Uh, no, Mr. Police Officer. We have not seen anybody saying that word. All right, if you see anybody saying that word, please let me know. All right, Mr. Police Officer, thank you so much. Well, uh, we're going to be on our way now. Yep, we sure are. See you later. But the like, ah! Hey, you just said Bedoy, get back here. Oh my gosh, little Timmy, where are you? What? Little Timmy, where are you going? I don't know. Where are you going, speak of man? I thought you were running this way. No, I thought you were running this way. Oh, my gosh. Quick, speaker man. He's blocking me off. All right, little Timmy. We got to hide somewhere fast. Hey, get back here. You're not allowed to say that word. You're under arrest. Oh, no, little Timmy. The cops are literally on our tail. We got to hide fast. Yes, Pico, man. This is so bad, but I think we lost him. Yeah, I think we did, too. Look, he's literally down there. He can't even get up here. This word is literally the funniest word in the world. Yeah, it sure is, bro. Wait a second. What the heck is this? Is this a UFO? What the heck? Yeah, why is there a UFO? Dude, I got no idea, but wait a second. What if we stole it? That would be so hilarious. Oh, my God, Spiegel, man. That is such a great idea. But uh, who could have parked the UFO right here? I mean, a police officer doesn't have a UFO, Speaker Man. Yeah, that's true. Well, maybe an alien did, but I don't think there's any aliens in Brookhaven. Ah, uh, Spiegel, man. Oh, what, Lord Timmy? Wait a second. What the heck? Hello, I'm Flight Commander from Planet Nine. Who are you? Wait, what? Your name's Flight Commander from Planet Nine? Oh, uh, I'm Titan Speaker Man, and this is Lord Timmy, and we're from Brookhaven. Uh, yeah, Mr. Alien. I think you have to walk place. This is not Planet Nine. This is Bookhaven. Oh, okay. Well, I'll be on my way now. Boy, hold up, Mr. Alien. What seems to be the issue, mister? Well, I have a question. Do they have bad words on their planet? Oh, my God, Speaker Man, you're a dean, yes. Oh, uh, yes, they have bad words on my planet, yes. They do? Oh, uh, all right. Well, do they have the Bedoink word on it? <laughs> uh, the Bedoink word? What is that? Uh, it's the worstest bad word in the universe. Do they not have that bad word on your planet or something? Oh, uh, no, they don't have that on my planet because I am Flight Commander from Planet Nine. Uh, Little Timmy, that did not work. So, do you think we should just hop in his UFO and steal it? Uh, Spiegel, man, I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, let's just do it. All right, well, Mr. Alien, I'll say one last time. You're a Ha ha! What did you just say to me? Hey, wait a second. Give me back my UFO. Oh my gosh, Little Timmy, we just stole Alien's UFO. And whoa, look at us, we're flying. Oh my gosh, Spiegel, man, this is so awesome that Alien's such a badoy. We are literally flying inside of a UFO. This is so much fun, Little Timmy. And you know what? Let's fly to our next destination. Right over here in the barn. Maybe there's someone there that we can save a toy to. Yeah, maybe we can save to the animal. That would be so funny. Yeah, it sure will be, little Timmy. So let's head to the barn. And little Timmy, we're here in the barn. All right. So let's see what animals there are. And wait a second. There's a piggy right here. Uh, hello, Mr. Piggy. Do you even speak? Oink, oink. I'm a Mrs. Piggy. Uh, speak oh man. This piggy looks really ugly and scary. Yeah, it sure does. I've never seen a piggy that skinny before. Hey, why are you talking about me like that? Wait a second. I didn't even notice. You're literally talking. Yeah, little Timmy. This is a talking piggy. So, wait a second. Do you think this piggy understands bad words? Wait a second, Spico Man. You might be on to something. Yeah, I know, bro. Wait, hold on, Mrs. Piggy. Do you understand bad words? Bad words? Oh, uh, yeah. I don't like bad words. If you use bad words, you're super duper mean. Wait a second. Oh, Timmy, she actually understands bad words. Oh, my God, Spico Man. This is literally gonna be so funny. Yeah, it sure is. I'm gonna walk up to her and say, but doink. All right, uh, hey, Mrs. Piggy. Well, I got a question for you. Okay, what is your question? Oink, oink. Do you understand the but doink word? <laughs> <laughs> oink, oink, but doink, doink. What do you just say to me? What the heck happened to that voice? Oh, my gosh. Why did your voice go so deep? This piggy is crazy. Yeah, it sure is. Our UFO got his choice, and we got to run. Yes, he has a gun. Oh, no, this is so bad. If you little to me, I'm almost out of breath. We lost that piggy. Yeah, that pig was super duper creepy. I can't believe that it knew the bad word. Yeah, me neither, bro. Well, little to me, we've been saying bad words all day. So, you know what? I think it's about time that we stop doing it. Yeah, me too, dude. We literally said bad words to so many people and they 
all got so mad. It was so hilarious. Yeah, bro. I'm pretty sure the whole entire town basically hates us now. Yeah, that's not very good. I thought their reactions were going to be like a little more funnier, but they were still pretty funny. But uh, everyone's really mad at us. Yeah, they sure are, bro. Wait a second. Uh, Will Timmy, why has this policeman been watching us? Uh, I don't really know, Speaker Man. This is really weird. Uh, policeman, what do you want? You two are under arrest for saying a bad word. Wait, what? We're under arrest? Hey, wait a second. Let us go. We didn't mean any harm. Well, you did cause a lot of harm. You made everybody in the town mad for saying the bad word. Mr. Policeman, we're sorry. Uh, we'll never say bad words ever again. Nope, too bad. I'm taking you to the police station. Wait, what? So we're gonna be in jail? No way we're gonna be in jail, Mr. Policeman. We're sorry. We didn't even know that there was a bad word. I'm sorry, Mr. Policeman. Yeah, trust us. Please. Don't put us in jail, Mr. Policeman. We're truly sorry. Well, I had a lot of reports saying that you said the bad word to a lot of different people. Therefore, I'm going to have to give you a consequence. No, Mr. Policeman, please don't let you let us out. Mr. Policeman. Oh, my God, Spiegel, man. I can't believe that you made me say this bad word. That's why we're trapped inside of here. Well, well Timmy, I didn't force you to say the bad word, bro. Spiegel, man, you literally told me that it was a bad word. And then I accidentally said it to the teacher this morning. Oh, my gosh. My mom is going to kill me. Yeah, mine is too, bro. Well, well Timmy, more of the story. Bad words are bad, and we should never say that. Yeah, I never saying a bad word ever again in my life. Well, uh, Mr. 